Well, hello, hello, hello. And welcome to Daily Premonition 2. Ooh. Yay me, I should get to play this. Um. Of course, there's no bloody thing on. Oh, bollocks, I'm actually gonna probably need to go downstairs and get the other bloody controller. Because this thing is fucked. Yes, it's got changes. If it keeps getting in the way, then I'll... I'll have to go downstairs and get the other controller. Oh, is that a tree? Oh, is that a 2 FPS? Oh, is that a 5 FPS? Like, the only thing I'm aware of with this game is its frame rate is... Well, let's just say it's traditional Deadly Premonition where the frame rate is artistically chosen to run at 2 FPS. Ah, oh, la carré. Or la carré, if you're an American. Because fuck French. <clears throat> also just gonna sit back a minute as I'd assume this is one long cutscene. About a dead woman. As per usual. Or legs. Ooh, that resolution on that V. So someone's hired Dexter, it seems. actually do that though is a feat because you'd have to fill the water up so much have that partially be frozen put it in very cautiously and carefully keep it suspended so then as the water starts freezing you take God out damn it what a way to start the new year at this rate i'll be dead by easter i'm not even Quite i'm pushing time, backwards you're on the clock i am pushing now? backwards <laughs> you you have any idea what you've done I'd be half naked in Havana right now if you hadn't shown up. Soaking up some rays, surrounded by a harem of bikini queens, a mojito in one hand, and a seafood slathered Havana style pizza in the other. What did I do to deserve this? Nice. But where's Agent Frank Agent Francis Jones, York Morgan? Don't let him take control of the conversation. The moment you let your guard down, he'll strike. And no red, remember? Evidence. It's open. Come on in. Oh, Francis, Zach, Mort, really? Like, I know because that mystery's already been solved, but... I mean, at this point, unless if this is a... Oh no, this could be the sequel section. Yeah, this could be the present day stuff before we go back to being York Morgan. We. Okay, we're old all of a sudden. You have questions for us. That's not the same voice actor, is it? That's why you're here, isn't it? And this is just an rails bloody section.
Ok. Mr. Morgan, before we question you, allow me to first read you your rights. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Please keep that in mind as you speak. Do we have permission to film this? Oh, you can film a lot of things, my lady. That's not an answer. Don't worry, my fairy. They're free to do whatever they like. Something wrong, Mr. Morgan? <clears throat> I'm FBI Special Agent Aaliyah Davis, and this is... Simon Jones. An analyst from the Boston branch. He's been monitoring us for years now. Oh, uh, hi. Well, some of these animations. I'm not going to say anything. Seriously. A southern bell and a lonesome loser. Yeah, just completely stops all animation. How all the stuff like plays out. Canny duo. I feel like already this game could have used another year video. of polishing. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> And I've only played How many for years seven has minutes. it been since someone came to chat with us? Oh, but don't ask me about my fairy. That's a private matter. So about that fairy. It's hard to tell what he's thinking, but my eyes can't be deceived. I mean, they can. You've got bloody cobwebs of shit over there. If he's hiding something, it'll come out in his face. Letters of appreciation from the governor and the Department of Justice. Wouldn't they say Francis York Morgan, though? Because the only way it would be Francis Zack Morgan would be post. Obviously, DP1. They're caked in dust as if he doesn't even care about them. You solved many difficult cases across your career. Utilizing your own unique M.O. You've expertly cracked cases that were otherwise thought to be unsolvable. According to our records, after joining the FBI in 2002, you quickly solved two drug ring related kidnapping cases. Yep, I'm the one that stole them. In 2003, you solved the Inside Out Flesh Skinner case in the suburbs of Pittsburgh. In 2004, the Jeffrey Dahmer wannabe case in Milwaukee. And also the Stuffed Human Collector case in St. Louis that very same year. Then, in 2005, you coincidentally happened to solve the Lise Clarkson murder case while on vacation. You went on to solve many other cases after that, all of them seemingly inexplicable. Did you really solve these cases all on your own? Yep, no, there I solved no them all. There are no records of you using a wide-scale investigative team or working with anyone else. How did you ever accomplish such monumental feats all by yourself? It was all thanks to me. our... Talented partner. Partner. The FBI files show no record of you ever working with a partner. Do you mean you worked with some sort of unofficial partner or an outside confidant? Our partner is our partner. We've always worked together. Besides, Belle, you're forgetting one important thing. After the St. Louis case, we stopped by a diner on our way home and caught Thelma and Louise, two highly sought-after fugitives. <laughs> visions. You can use visions to acquire important hints that will help you proceed through the game. Hold L and use vision. Using a vision will deplete your concentration, so be careful about using it too much.
Excuse me, Mr. Morgan, but would you please refrain from consuming that while we speak? The I'm cigarette? talking about... Yeah, oh, marijuana. That. You don't need to worry about us. Don't get in our way, and we won't get in yours. Unfortunately, questioning doesn't work like that. Our data... It would also help if you actually system. sat on the chair. Now please, put out that stinking indulgence right this minute. What... if we say no? Then I'll put it out myself, using force. Oh, you can come closer to me, that's all right. Whoa, whoa, Aaliyah! This is Morgan's house. Besides, it's legal in Massachusetts for individuals to consume cannabis in the comfort of their own homes. And I mean, come on. It's medicinal. That's what they all say. Exactly. Hey, Belle. Why are you dressed so handsomely? What are you talking about? The thick black accessory wrapped around your neck. That's a male necktie. Yeah, what's your point? The color black represents confidence and interest in the self. And... Your decision to wear a male tie symbolizes your declaration of war against a predominantly male society. Mm. Or perhaps it's a psychological barrier meant to hide the weakness that dwells deep within your psyche. We admire your bravery. And I'm just looking at a woman's tits. I thought you retired from profiling. Bullseye, huh? You're an easy one to read. In order to think with society, a man must first gouge out his eyes and cut off his ears. Don't judge a book by its cover. For someone who's supposed to have been one of our best, you've got an awful eye for people. Or did all that smoke and kill all your little gray cells? Okay, Aaliyah, that's enough. She's smart, but she's also more of a shrew. And she lets on. Agent Jones, that's sexual harassment. Is it? <laughs> so, Belle, does that barrier of yours also protect you from violent criminals? <laughs> Is he it's old on Agent the back of the cover? Now. Probably not. Can't read him. Oh, yeah, no, he is in it. I'll just have to assault him head on with questions then. First, I'll try using the files on the table to shake him up. Mr. Morgan, may I ask you a question purely out of curiosity? If it makes you uncomfortable, just let me know, and I'll retract it. Belle, what's wrong? You sure put a lot of effort into that approach. It's a question about death. About this body? Are you afraid of what's coming? Think carefully about why we're smoking this, then ask us again. Honestly, we're not afraid. Rather, we find it intriguing. <laughs> intriguing? Yes. <sighs> Belle, have you ever been to the Grand Canyon in winter? No. In the dead of winter, the Grand Canyon is terribly cold. Also, I do have to keep pressing the bloody button to do this. The cold that no photograph could ever express. The sun. <laughs> Powerless. And the temperature drops below zero. Right in the middle of the day. Meaning? <laughs> Meaning. 
You can't really understand something until you experience it for yourself. If you want to learn more about us, you need to gain more experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm only 2 XP off from level 12. Give me that chess game. That chessboard looks rather old. And you can't even buy those ivory pieces anymore. Right. They were banned by the Sites Treaty. That was made in France in the 1900s. We know it's in bad taste. But the weight of the ivory just feels so good in our hands. You play chess alone? Is that a crime? No. But it's a hard game to enjoy when you're all by yourself. He's not. He's probably just replicating famous games. Or trying to solve problems from a chess workbook. Right, Morgan? I may not look it, but I'm actually a bit of a chess nut myself. When I was in school, I used to pour over every issue of Chess Life. Well, well we know who got laid chess back chess in memory. school. Wasn't you, well, but... <laughs> unfortunately, your guess is completely wrong, Agent Jones. He isn't replicating a famous game, nor is he solving workbook problems. There isn't a single chess book to be found in this apartment. Oh, hey, Phew. How are you? And I didn't find any chess-related websites in his internet history. When did you have the time? He was simply playing chess. All You're tired. Life. Tell me something I don't know. If you're in here very talkative, then I know you're wide awake. Otherwise, it's... Oh, what time is it? What's wrong? What are you going to do then? I don't understand it. How could a single human being seriously play as both sides? Because there's two of him. You just publicly confessed to stealing personal data. Mm. Oh, hey, Seems okay. like that's Mass Effect a facial bigger capture. Problem. What in this? Oh no, this game has no animation whatsoever. Oh no, everything was done in a perfectly legal manner. Because people will do things and then they'll just, and then when it's their their turn again, they'll go so anyway. Like look at her, just sat there doing nothing. We simply happened to intercept a handful of nice. data being sent out from an unknown origin. Watch she's casual stuff really or... trying to scare us. Did you hear that, my fairy? Serious nightmare fuel. Do you remember the homicides that took place in Lucare, Louisiana in 2005? Did she just say Louisiana? I thought it was Louisiana. We solved that case. Your report states the following. It wouldn't be... Okay, if this game takes place after... Like, say, Deadly Premonition 1... Then... Yeah, if it doesn't... Again, things saying Zack should not exist. A serious That's all I need to know. While on if, this is a, if this happens before 1 or after 1... Because it was before one, like I say, then I mean it'll probably be after one. To steal the right to investigate from the local law enforcement and took over the case. After several more homicides, you managed to apprehend the perpetrator. Spoilers. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> we stole the right to investigate from them. Just as you said. It all started when the body of a 16-year-old girl was discovered. More than a sheet of ice. You arrived in immediately after that, didn't you? We just can't seem to keep ourselves away from dead girls. Did you really visit that town just to take a vacation? We don't know. If you already have the report, then we suggest you read it, Belle. Either way, that case is closed. Closed? You sure about that? Because he's the murderer. Don't you think this puzzle is still missing some crucial pieces? I'm gonna mean he, I mean the bald guy who's recording this. No need to beat around the bush with us, Belle. 
It was him all along. They found Lise Clarkson's body. It was hidden deep within the Clarkson Food Delivery Service's cold storage warehouse. After 14 years, we finally discovered the body of the very first victim. Do you know what this means? That's why we're here. You're working on a really big cobblestone farm. Oh. The first victim in now, the Now, when you mean cobblestone farm, do you Lise mean... Clarkson. an infinite resource of cobblestone? This is a photograph of what she looks like now. How will he react when he sees it? We're pleased that her body turned up. The block. Well, the block itself. Deeply pleased. You claim to have closed this case, but now a lost body suddenly surfaced. Aren't you curious about the details? Body or not, we already solved that case. Lisa's body can't change anything now. And it certainly has nothing to do with us. I suspect the body was stored there rather than abandoned, due to the unnatural state it was found in. She was found frozen in a storage unit. Therefore, she looks exactly the same as she did when she disappeared. In fact, she's in such good condition that we can even determine the murder weapon and cause of death. Well, good for you. Even stranger is how unbelievably beautiful she looks. Why would you... Okay. At first glance, few would guess she was a murder victim at all. Really? You mean the woman who's completely been chopped in like eight different pieces? She was a murder victim? Really? The woman in the sheet of ice? Completely missing her limbs? No, she never. more like a piece of art. Or a mythological figure from a painting. Because she's meant to be. This keeps getting better and better. Yeah, I know, right? Better and better? Isn't that right? It's meant to be fairy. on display, not the whole point. A corpse as beautiful as a goddess. Sounds just like our story. Hmm. Yes. Yes. That went okay. Now I'm sure that Morgan's hiding something. You think? I may be able to get what I want if we go deeper into the documents. Well, when I found out, find out more. Isn't there someone else you should have talked to? Before coming to us? Such as... We were unable to reach Patricia Clarkson. Now oh, the little girl. You look surprised. I thought you already knew. After all, you visited Louisiana last week. It's Louisiana. We Even I'm not American. During your time there? In before people actually tell me it is Louisiana, but I highly doubt that. We haven't been to Louisiana. Thank you. Not in 14 years. Yeah, Louisiana, not Louisiana. Is that so? We've been right here in our apartment this entire time. That man is our witness, aren't you, Simon? <laughs> He's right. He didn't even take a single step outside on Christmas Eve. Which means that I didn't get to either. Are you positive about that? I think those people were just messing with me. No, she is the one saying Louisiana constantly. I took the liberty of checking some airline records. Last Friday, the name Billy Bishop was listed on a morning flight out of Boston. This is the fake name you used to use as an agent, isn't it? That person is weird. Yep. <laughs> a mere coincidence. Yet that's not all. That evening on the same day, a man with a large scar on his forehead allegedly purchased an 89 Cadillac from a small used car lot in Lucare. I'll give you Carre, but Lu? It's Le. Oh you my god. It, there's La and Le. Oh, and strong. I know I hate French, but the owner of the please, car bitch. Lot felt it was a strange order, so Take five seconds to pronounce mind. things, please. Our world is filled with mysteries. No wonder why she's saying Lu Louisiana and Lucare. And they always have. Because she can't say Le. Timing. Incidentally, 
On the following day, an identical Cadillac was taken to a scrapyard in Trenton. Trenton, New Jersey. You can find that type of car anywhere. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> You may be wondering why we decided to unearth all these old files. Everything happens well, for a reason. Because you just can't any of the states, right? Well, at this rate, no. I mean, she said New Jersey, which was right. But let's see how many other states she can get wrong. The moment Lise Clark's not Oregon, found, it's Oregon. We did the best we could to start our own local investigation. And it's not but California, it's California. Damage caused by the it's a reference that no one's gonna get. Then we assume you also questioned everyone who worked in the warehouse. Of course. The state game, how many states can you say wrong? All of them, I win. We question all the Clarkson Food Delivery Services employees. Who You've got Penny Sylvania. And its owner. But we still have yet to obtain Oregon. key testimonies. Par for the course with a 14-year-old case, if you ask me. Hmm. Not to mention how bad the timing was. Most of the employees I don't know were any on more vacation. Tell us. So, you gave up on the investigation and... Oh yeah, Arkansas. I forgot about Arkansas. Not Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> Remember what happened, my fairy? That North Dakota and South Dakota. That man. So incoherent. Such a pain. Colorado. Hey, are you talking about... That's how it should be said in your opinion. Well, all Kansas. I mean, yeah, I mean, all honesty, it should be all Kansas, but... Where Lisa's body was found? Yeah, I think he started working there in 2005. Remember, Aaliyah? You said he was a pain to deal with, too. man, yes? Hmm. No need to answer. If you don't want to. I'm sure you've already put him under surveillance. Textbook FBI protocol. <sighs> Morgan's right. Everything happens for him. What, what are the states am I missing? Besides all of them? Chicago. Even this messy room. There must be a reason for it. Yeah, Teus, Florida. I mean, she said New Jersey, right? Michigan. Pennsylvania. Ohio. Arizona. Massachusetts. Georgia. Alaska. Illinois. Hawaii, Colorado, Vagina, Minnesota. Especially when it comes to those strange oh, yeah. old times. <laughs> the cookie ran. Yep. They're practically begging me to question them. Maryland, Alabama, Oregon. Do you like fresh vegetable juice? Why would you think that? There's a juicer in your sink that hasn't been washed yet. And do I smell the faint fragrance Montana? of baked beans? I don't know. Nevada? Utah? New Mexico? Luciana. What am I missing? South Carolina, North Carolina, West Virginia, Kentucky. Um, obviously Pennsylvania, Benetai Court, Dallawar. New Hampshire. You didn't use much salt, did you? 
Why would you use salt? What are you implying? I have incorrectly pronounced every you single one. You just told me that you find impending death to be intriguing. That confused me. When I look around your room, all I can see are the many ways in which you're resisting death. Salt? Poly MVA treatment, mm -hmm. highly concentrated vitamin C IVs, fresh vegetable juice, vegetable protein without salt, gallons of vitamin D milk for fat and calcium. The ambivalence, yes. What? Two contradictory emotions, mixing, coexisting together. An adult, mature mind is never satisfied with only one response. It's common sense. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> a stinking indulgence and a massive DVD collection. Hmm? You what? must live a very comfortable life. We're retired, remember? Retired in your 40s. I'm envious. He's 40? But Isn't a fucking who weirder? doesn't love movies, Belle? I'm not a fan. Oh, that won't do. Oh yeah, because he has white hair, doesn't he? Or at least... Zach does. You should dedicate all the you don't know what's going on. Have to this watching do something bad. No, he's the guy you play as. He is. This is just the modern day stuff where you're interrogating the character you're playing as because it's all too coincidental that you've solved, solved many murders and cases that should therefore be impossible to solve. And specifically the one they're talking about here is... He just so happened to be on holiday in a town where some murders were going on, and he just so conveniently solved it whilst he was there. Films guide us. Films are filled with... So, obviously, a few years later, I don't know how long later, I would assume, like, 20 years later. Is that so? Um, For example... She's now here David. interrogating him. 1988, directed by... Oh, John, John Carpenter's Carpenter. the thing. That film taught us a valuable lesson always yes yeah, so this is just the modern day stuff interrogating him before we go into the town of Le Carre and do the actual solving you know you got because he's the murderer movies teach us I don't actually know that's just a guess we need to know I learned about the right way to eat frozen pizza from Cobra it's one of Stallone's best films before that I wouldn't be caught Dead trying to eat frozen pizza. Who eat? I thought it wasn't fit for human consumption, but that film changed my life. Simon, that has nothing to do with the film. You're just talking about pizza. No comment. No, you begin to think that this dude Mr. has some Morgan. sort of power. What, Francis York Morgan? I yeah. Several spots well, I mean, I'm playing as the woman. But, um, yeah, Francis York Morgan, he doesn't necessarily have powers, but the game, at least the first game at least, because I don't know anything about this one, but the first, like, flight, oh no, he doesn't fly. But it's no, this, um, we were coming. the first game does have a very supernatural feel to it. Um... Those are I mean, when you actually find out what happens, and I don't want to spoil it, because I would recommend you play Deadly Premonition 1. Um, but yeah, it has a very sort of supernatural feel to it. Um, but again, by the end of the game, and when the mystery starts closing, and all your answers are starting to be... or all your questions are being answered, um, it then sort of pulls the story together of going from a sort of bullshit, supernatural, sci-fi story to... Oh, that actually kind of makes sense. And then it goes completely batshit insane and then just goes back to the supernatural again. That's right. Sacred places. Hovels for pure souls, if you will. 
Where there are rich yeah, no, you're just some dude. Because he has a imaginary friend in his head. He does. Something you didn't want us to see. Which is him, but in some ways it's meant to be directed to us, so kind of. Dude. Still there. That sounds interesting. I enjoy that game. Oh yeah, no, I really enjoyed Deadly Premonition One. We I did. Like I say, I would definitely recommend you play it. But it's on no. original Let's Xbox. Sorry, Xbox 360. Then there's a director's cut on PS3 and PC, and then they released uh, Deadly Premonition Origins for Switch. I don't know which version I would actually recommend you play because all of them run at like 10 FPS. Don't touch the sanctuary. Even this game does the same thing. Like when it will get into the open world, the frame rate will immediately probably dip from 30 to like 10. Uh, s sorry. <coughs> That's a sanctuary. Don't ever touch it again. You've been watching us for four and a half years, and you couldn't even figure that much out. Uh, my bad. It's my first time actually coming inside, you know. <laughs> You're earning far more than you deserve, then. What were you doing all day in that black suburban? We thought wiretapping was your specialty. Don't tell me. Crossword puzzles. What do you think, my fairy? Four and a half years. All that time. And what does he have to show for it? It's... Crossword puzzles? No way. Come on, I thought you knew. I'm a Sudoku guy. Agent oh. Jones. Oh, right. He's completely taken control of the conversation. At this rate, we'll never get anywhere. I need to press him some more. Agent Jones, did you find the files? Oh, there they are. Clipping through the... Mr. Morgan. Do you recognize these files? Whoa! Whoa! Ow! We told you. That's a sanctuary! <clears throat> Let him go! Assaulting an FBI agent is an obstruction we told of you. justice. We told you. Go. Ah. Say back. Say back. Sanctuary. Die. Like I said, this game could have used another year of animations. Ah. 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 Yeah. No red, remember. <laughs> it's very rough. Mr. Here. Morgan. Uh. Cut my finger with that can opener this morning. I thought I stopped the bleeding, but it seeped through. How do you? How could I be so stupid? Right. First question: How do you cut yourself with a can opener? Second of all, that fist is not going in my ass. I'm sorry for being so careless. Yeah, and you see, it's there as well. Like can opener, you're doing this. Depending on which kind of can opener you have, if you have the automatic ones, whatever, or you have ones that slot on top and you twist. Or you have the really shitty old ones from like World War II that you use to sort of stab and clip through. Even if you slip, how the fuck do you slip out and then down the can? Fucking useless. I made sure to read through your file and learn about Even your the condition. Can doesn't take, make much sense, but it makes more sense. Well, no, she cut herself with the can opener. Such an unusual thing to fear. Please, accept my deepest apologies. <laughs> I... I'm sorry too, Morgan. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll never touch one of your sanctuaries ever again. And no more red, either. <laughs> don't... ever... touch one... again. I... I told them not to. Now, may we return to our discussion? Not only can this woman not pronounce states, she calls herself on can openers. Yep. I don't even know how, genuinely. This man has a fear of the color red. That's not how you spell color. 
And I believe that fear is connected to the Greenville case. Is this woman fit to live? I'm surprised she even got hired by the FBI, to be honest. This is a very large shredder. Is there something you don't want people fighting I'm surprised about? she's gotten to the age of like maybe 26 and was hired by the FBI. Hmm, good question. But we never know when some curious civil servants may come and sift through our trash now, do we? You're already retired. What are you so worried about? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they it's mean. just a you simple open habit. Campbell interviewing you. Yeah, I know. They, uh, you just walk into the interview room and they say, if you can pass our very meticulous test, you're in. Can opener. Okay, sure. Damn it, I've stabbed my hand. Bollocks. Out. You're fired. From back when we were still on duty. Didn't they bang that into your head when you were up in Quantico? Some habits are hard to break. No matter how like, I have never like I understand cutting yourself on the can itself. Like, that's a thing I understand, but the can opener? Like dude, seriously? Ow. Could you tell me what exactly the word sanctuary means to you? Sanctuaries are sanctuaries. You can't use the word to describe the word. Nothing more and nothing less. That doesn't explain anything. Why do you wish to know? Just curious. Belle. You're a much ruder person than you initially seem to be. Oh, I'll get for Don't you agree, my fairy? What do our sanctuaries have to do with the investigation? If you're out of questions, then how about just going home? Hey, mind if I jump in here? What is it, Simon? We hope you've got a real question for us. Well, actually, I'm also a little curious myself. No one's supposed to touch any sanctuary, right? That's what we said. What about you, though? You can't even touch them yourself? Are there any extenuating circumstances? What are you getting at? I mean, I doubt if any of this really matters, but if no one can touch the sanctuaries, then how do you clean them? You don't, clearly. Mr. Morgan, I'd like to ask you some questions about this case now. We don't want to remember that town. I'm sorry, but there's no way around this. I remember hearing about this case on the news when I was still a student. A high school girl named Anna Graham was murdered and the FBI stepped in to take over the case. Oh no, this I is the event of becoming a small investigation one. due to evidence found in the victim's throat. Is that correct? After that case, you went on sick leave for two years. And when you returned, you requested to be switched over to desk work. What happened? That's a private matter. None of your business, Bill. Were you traumatized? Hmm. It's a common problem with prolific agents such as yourself. But there's another possibility that may make more sense. Perhaps you simply finished making preparations. <gasps> Francis Shock Morgan is the murderer. What are you getting at? I'm going to keep calling him Francis York Morgan. Something will always turn it into a problem. The Greenvale case. Don't you think it resembles the Luke Carre case? Read the report. We have nothing else to say. Yeah. I really hope that... No, you know, this would have to be a secret. Whoa, prequel. I just need one more push. I don't remember. Give me half a second. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, okay. So, the events of this game take One place after. Can summon up the past. Yeah, no, I think the second game will take place after the first, pile. it seems. That's right. 
John Harrison's fifth chronometer, completed in 1770. After many years, he completed right. it and presented it to the... I need to very quickly say something. Team. So obviously I have the eBay app on my phone, obviously. I buy some old games on eBay. eBay has just d done a push notification saying, just for me, FIFA 18. I don't know how you get FIFA 18 from some weird ass shitty old games on the PS2 and stuff. That's only a replica, mm. of course. It's, it's, this dude is an old man. No, he's like 40. You like clocks? He is. He just has white hair. He does. Clocks are amazing. Prime fruit of the so human game race I would clearly enjoy. I know, right? Like, I've bought DS games, PS2 games. Fucking any game from any system ever. Not one of them was a sports game. Of time. Yeah, welcome to him. How are you? In these. I'm like I said, a few. Him specifically, he's just got yeah, white hair. So I'd assume he's about forty, maybe fifty at the latest. I disagree. Oh, why? Time is valuable precisely because it can't be seen. Yet nowadays, people can't tell what time it is unless it's measured in numbers. Talk about idiocy. I don't mean to side with the boy. Time is a concept that we as remember, humans cannot. Humans used to cross oceans with the stars alone. Yeah, that's because they relatively stayed in the same place, so we always knew go that way. That's just basic geography, you stupid bitch. We have bitch. our eyes to read moon charts and study the sky. We don't yeah, need clocks. Yeah, fuck, being leaked in the next-gen games would be 70 pounds. How gay is that? What? Well, uh, well, first of all, that would exactly prove my point as to why, um... It's cloudy or storming. All you need is courage and a love for adventure. Yeah, why consoles are always sold, <laughs> are always undersold. Hear that? Because say, say, for example, if they sold the PS5 at 450 pounds, and then... Courage um, and a love for adventure. But it actually say is five hundred and fifty pounds to make each console. They're at a loss of a hundred pounds per console. <laughs> so by selling the game slightly more expensive, you get your money back in the Surely long run. You know how many lives have been claimed by your pals' courage and adventure. But I would very much doubt that games will cost seventy dollars. Because do you know how many people would buy a console and spend seventy dollars on a game? But for like five hours of games, no, no one would. At least no one should. Board of Longitude thing. So, what the heck is that? If they do, like, if over here they sell games for like sixty quid, I'm not entirely bothered. It just then means any games that are sixty quid that I know that are like, say, eight-hour games, I would just skip out on. FBI analyst, remember? Which then the problem is, they'll then just be forcing shitty games and shitty companies like Ubisoft to just copy and paste their games year in, year out, making the same shit over and over again to justify having a $70 game, when in reality, their $70 games are worth nothing because it's the same cookie-cutter bullshit that Ubisoft have been doing for the last 10 years. Because bigger games make better experiences. Bullshit, they don't. I know what it is, really. So, that's where you run into that problem. Games will probably just start being bigger and bigger and bigger. Cramming in more useless content you don't actually want to play. Filling it with shitty side quests on, and collectibles and calling it a day. Aaliyah? So... Learn from Breaking Bad as a villain of Far Cry Shop. It's on an island or something. I mean, I've... I, I know who you're talking about, but obviously I don't. I, I, him as an actor, I know nothing, so I don't know if he'll be good, but used to criticize what games are sold for over there. Aren't the British economy and the American economy different? No, we sell games for £50 max. Huh? Some games cross the border to 55 but it's very rare. They're mostly 50 Like, this game's only £40. It is. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is 50 so... There's honeycomb inside. We wanted to harvest and then obviously the destroy yeah. humans remaster is 35 so like like some games and some developers and some companies will always have fairly decent pricing for their games like I said like this game is 40 pounds and it will probably be a good 40 pound game 
filled with power. But like say some games then charge like fifty quid and it's like no. Next queen. Ghost of Tsushima, you haven't heard much about that game, but it looks good. I'm definitely getting that next week. Absorbing it into our own body. I am. So I suppose if you want to see anyone honestly play it and not be terrible at video games, like I said, I'll be playing that next week. So if you have a PS4 and you're interested in buying it, I guess if you don't want spoilers, you can ask me a few days after I've put some time into it. No. And then I can let you know. Guess they didn't teach. Or if you don't have a PS4 and you just want to watch it, like I said, I'll be playing it next Friday anyway. Male bees are only born to inseminate. Used to be 42 pounds in pseudo markets and like 50 digital notes, 50 pounds in stores and 55 to 60 pounds digital. And that's exactly why I don't do digital because imagine this game. No, I'll do it this way. Um, and they're born from unfertilized eggs to boot. To boot, nice. They have short lives. But no, like I buy games at 50 pounds physical. I then trade them in at £35, having then only spent £15 on a game. So say for example Ghost of Tsushima comes out, I'm spending 50 I trade it in for 35 I've only spent 15 on it. I use that 35 for the next £50 game, which is then only £15. So then I trade that in for 35 theoretically only having spent... Um, well, having gained money of what, like £25? Yeah, 25, 10, 20, 20 pounds, whatever. So then every game pretty much after that is then essentially me kind of just making money. Because then the next game after that will then cost me 30 pounds. Or the way you look at it this way, every game that I buy subsequently after Ghost of Tsushima will be 15 pounds. So then as and when I buy that game in the future, say five years down the line, and say spend another 15 pounds, I've effectively only spent 30 pounds on one game and kept it rather than having spent 50 or 60 and kept it from day one sort of feels like it's exactly why i buy shit physical because society. although i will most likely keep this game because one it won't trade in for much and two if i enjoy it i'll keep it anyway yeah i mean if i absolutely hate it i'll just trade it in women but are gifted with the power like i say that's exactly it's, ex it's, ex it's exactly what i do buy a game for 50 trade it in for 35 Spend 15 technically, get the next one for 15, get the next one for 15, get the next one for 15, get, you know, so on and so on. But men, men are consumed with the job of providing women with the chance to do so. The last disc game you bought was AC Odyssey Gold Edition because it's £20 cheaper than digital, and that's exactly why I don't do digital. If women no longer... I'll do digital in the future, you know, when games go really cheap, you know, like on a Steam summer sale or something, then, you know, I'll buy them then because... I mean, at that point, I'm not bothered about spending a fiver and then say ten pounds down the line for it on physical later. But um, Simon. <laughs> like I say, like it's the exact reason why I don't do digital because, like I say, I I don't. Why would I want to spend in a in a given year, like maybe a thousand pounds on game? Because how much would that be? I would have to buy twenty games for it to be a thousand pounds. I would easily buy twenty games easily at fifty pounds. But like I say, with my method of doing it, buy one game at £50, then every every £50 game after that is then £15. In the long run, I'm saving way more money than you are, and I'm playing way more games because of it. Your bells already and I'm thankful that I can do that, because obviously living in the UK, we have such a good trade-in deals and stuff <laughs> like that. You buy a game, you trade it in, you wait, you get the next game, £15. You buy it, you trade it, £15 for the next game, it's... Mr. Am I going to watch Treehouse? I have no idea what Treehouse is. What's this dude talking about? I mean, at this point, they're just it waffling just on. Say, I've, I've been I've been listening to Waffle for the past hour. We don't want to remember Greenvale. This but that's because I'm picking everything. But everything will have a reason to exist, I guarantee you. Former Special Agent Francis Zach Morgan. York Morgan. This photograph predates Greenvale. Nintendo Treehouse. I mean, that doesn't answer my question. It's from the Lucare case you worked on in 2005. Red. Red. Tree. Red tree. Yes. A red tree. Well, you have to give me more information than whatever the hell that is. When you buy games, you get your money's worth. You mostly buy PvP games or long single-player games. Yeah, but that's the problem, though, Daniel. And it's just for me personally. I mean, obviously, you know... 
you're you, you like the games that you buy, and we mostly buy the same type of games anyway, you know, like Assassin's Creed and whatever. But would you rather agree, would you rather play an Assassin's Creed game that has a massive map filled with nothing to do but shitty um, quests that have you collecting flowers or emptying bases and looting chests for no reason, or would you prefer a smaller, more condensed map filled with quests that make sense in the world and the story they're trying to tell. I would so much more pre Again, Greedfall, I'm gonna keep saying it. Greedfall is the perfect excuse as to what an R RPG should be. It's not a massive map filled with shitty question marks and crappy side quests like Assassin's Creed is, the most cookie cutter bullshit, because it's Ubisoft. Whereas Greedfall, granted it's not the best game ever made, but it reminds me of a time where developers would get together, or not get together, but make a game, make its story, and fill it with side content that relatively makes sense within the mythos of the story they're trying to tell, rather than, oh there's like 600 question marks on this map. Content, $60. No. And that's exactly why I enjoyed um, Deadly Premonition, because I would happily have spent Fifty pounds on Deadly Premonition because it was a game that I enjoyed. Its story was well done. The questions and answers that it gives you, and overall arching characters, although obviously Norman Reedus being the gruff guy throughout the entire game kind of doesn't work. But for the most part, the entirety of that game was a very good game. Sure, the delivery system some people don't like. I will give them the benefit of the doubt, but you know, like Greedfall, Deadly Premonition, two games that I do like. Last of Us. Again, it was a game that I liked, but its story was overdone. So I can't recommend that game at full price, but you know. Answer me. And yes, I did, Tom. I did manage to get hold of what the mic these trees? switch. Red trees. I want the truth. Tell me everything you know. More games are coming out the perfect size with dense story. Yeah. I mean, sure, it still has the bullshit like 300 collectibles the with the Riddler, trees. which, to be honest, I would prefer not having that many, but again, really all of the side content it has, for the most part, is fairly well done and obviously fits into the story they're telling, rather than done. just having the Riddler stuff and going, oh, you don't want to collect 500 collectibles for content? Well, I mean, you're not going to get your money's worth then, are you? You know, it's that kind of thing, like, I liked Arkham Knight, its story was well done, it's a comic book story. You know, it's side content involving the characters it does is good. But Damn compared to Assassin's good. Creed, like, no. I, I can't. Are you ready to talk now? What's my favorite story in a game? Oh, I want to know what went down. Don't ask, I don't know. I want to my dad in trips to stream so he can have his... Uh, oh, Animal Crossing, I read that as Assassin's Creed. But yeah, um... We'll tell you what happened. He won't. Because he's time traveling in Animal, in Animal Crossing now, he no longer needs anything he's doing in game is no longer time dependent. He's now doing the cheating, which some people think is cheating, where you can go forward in time as much as you want. So instead of say waiting like three days for a bridge to build, although he's done all that, but instead of waiting that amount of time, you can just skip it. So, yes. Now that he's doing that, it's no longer time dependent, so I can play this game. It was that red tree. Red but like say the few like like the problem is with me and story like if if we if you listed a few games of stories right now for me I could I could remember the stories in each games but the problem is like as much as I enjoyed the story in Deadly Premonition or Death Stranding or even a Gears of War bloody game for an example Sun comes down I'm mostly a first and foremost gameplay kind of guy over story torrential downpour of demonic whisper and there is probably a game out there that I would probably say is number one story for me I mean it's probably Dragon Age if we're being honest but again even then it's not it amazing per se. Summer. We still had so you know it's, it's sort of if you listed me some I could probably say oh that that or that but the other me for the most part I wouldn't be able to my better half. Oh, you mean York. Well, I say though, Daniel, you know, like, it's just one of those things that I prefer condensed worlds rather than... Oh, wow, after an hour of talking and intros, the game finally starts.
Now this is the point where the game has like two FPS. Never a so yay. Would somebody need <laughs> Yeah, that's why though Daniel I would highly recommend that you do give Greedfall a go at some point because then if you play Greedfall and you have the same thought process I do by realizing how much better that game is with its extra content over something like Assassin's Creed then you can see why I like Greedfall so much I mean don't get me wrong Greedfall is still not the best game ever made it, it's more that's been long forgotten. Oh, that's a woman's breast. But you know, it just reminds me more of, you know, how things can be done much better and worth more money rather than playing a game for 200 hours with shitty content like Assassin's Creed over a 30 hour experience that I can enjoy and remember content I've done also. 10 out of 10. Greatest game ever made. Call to me to keep searching. Talking about like 20 FPS and consistent crashes, and the fans were excited. Yep, this is that exact game. I'm not gonna headbang. I've got the hair for it, but I'm not gonna headbang. Oh, four, Batman. But basically, if anyone's ever watched Twin Peaks, this is basically it. Because the first game's kind of based around the same concept as Twin Peaks, I'd assume this is doing the same. So if you like Twin Peaks, which I've never watched, then these are the games for you. You haven't seen Twin Peaks, but you have heard about it. Yeah, same here. Like, I know of it, and I know about the concept, but... Beyond that, I know nothing. And also, how are you, Tom? I forgot to ask that. Zack. Oh, York's talking to us again. Which is himself. Zack. You know, Twin is a property that exists. I believe it was a 1980s TV show that ran for like six episodes or something. Can you hear me, Zack? I want to say. I'm probably wrong about that, but... There you are, Zack. <laughs> Sleeping again? Almost, why? Well, rise and shine. It's time for us to head back out into the chaos. Isn't that right? So for a video about it, basically explaining the series, you think you haven't watched it? Oh. Well, I mean, like I say, obviously I haven't watched it, so I can't recommend it, but I know the aspect and idea behind it. Which then I believe stuff like Fargo is kind of based off as well. Oh yeah, this pisses me off as well. Dead Sea Premonition. What the fuck is a dead to re premonition? La Carré, Luciana. I want my bird. Oh, crab. Lobster. Damn it. Oh, there's no FK in his Zach, coffee. Looks like she wants us to join her for breakfast. Perhaps this town's finally starting to warm up to us. So is this a sequel? Prequel? I don't fucking know what's going on anymore. Look at that, Zack. If this is supposed to be She's a sequel, did no one play the noise. first game? She's even willing to share that tasty morsel with us. What an honor. Hurry up Thank you, buddy. Down, mister. Unless you like your breakfast stale. I'm also generic black guy. Place. I've been on top of the Just listen to me, the man. I got here. And the name of this wonderful town, Lacare. Sounds like French to me. But what does it mean? 
I'm the chef, David. If you want to know about the town, you'd better ask the concierge. Only amateur chefs flap their gums about stuff that ain't food related. Thanks, bye, Blazer. Did you hear that, Zach? He's a true professional. I just want to know if it, like, at the moment I'm saying this is a prequel to Deadly Premonition 1, which I think it is. Uh, no, not to you. I was just talking to Zack. Zack? It's uh, please don't me, ask me about but it's him. It's a private matter. If you say so, still. Never thought the FBI would ever come out to a little old town like ours. I do work for the FBI, but I didn't come here for an investigation. I just happened to stop by on my way to New Orleans. Is it New Orleans or is it New, Never New Orleans? There was a murder out here either. And it was a 16 year old kid. Now I tell you, this country seen better days. What you reckon, mister? Zach, he's definitely a professional, but it seems like he's also a bit lonesome. That's good. Ambivalence exists everywhere. Folks say the killer used an axe. Hell of an old-fashioned choice, if you ask me. Huh. Why don't you ask me a question? Actually, Chef David, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. Well, shoot. I ain't the one you ought to be asking, Mr. FBI. I only heard what I heard. But seeing as you're fixing to grill me, I can tell you what I know. Please do. I appreciate it. Why don't you ask me a question? Gets bludgeoned to death and the game ends. Yep. Oh, well, he's the murderer. Found him. You said the victim was a 16-year-old. Did you know her? Well, sure. I reckon the whole town did. Oh, she's the local bike. She's Lise Clarkson. The little grandbaby of the Clarkson family. The Clarkson family? That's right. You ain't seen they sign on your way in here? The one above that huge coal storage complex. <gasps> Should have had a dragonfly on it. Anyway, that's the clocks and family seal. Right, dragonfly. They own most of the land around here. From the sugar plantations right down to the food processing plant. Yeah, I reckon they got a stake in just about everything. They even own the water tower on the edge of town, you know. They're the ones who built up this town, and they still support it. Conspiracy. What do you know about the, the Clarksons? Clarksons are not the ones behind it, but it's someone who's related to the Clarksons who's supposed to own this town. So they're going to go about it in a much bludgeoned way. Say, but I'm going to talk straight to you. You best. That family Bond. ain't just some gang. They're a whole different kind of beast. They folks with real power. Rem Nintendo power, motherfucker. Boys who shaped America in the early days. Especially the head of the family, P.J. Clarkson. He's the kind of monster who goes around eating other monsters. The capitalist, the worst kind of person I know. And I'm sure he's on edge now with his granddaughter getting murdered and all. So don't go barging in with that shiny FBI badge of yours and think you'll be safe for nothing. Things are different down here. So if you plan on sticking around, you best remember that. I see. I'll keep that in mind. As soon as I see them, I'm immediately going to flash my badge. Is the local law enforcement investigating the case? <laughs> yes. So, mister, what you think? Now, I told you this ain't no city. We in the bonafide boondocks here. They got the know-how to break up fights and keep folks from killing each other when they piss jaw. They sit down and talk it out with you heart to heart. And when that don't work, they just beat your ass. That's the Deep South for you. Well, then I, well, if we're in the Deep South, I'm surprised that you even have a job. This murder ain't like that, though. A little kid got killed. I'm not racist, but... A weird way, like something on a TV show. The sheriff's department ain't never seen nothing like this. 
This summer's gonna be another hot one. It's supposed to get over 95 today. Watch out, you don't go getting heat stroke. Elise Clarkson case needs us. Don't you think so, Zach? The cat no. people are what guided us to New Orleans. The cat people. We should be thanking Malcolm McDowell. Once we get home, let's watch Blue Thunder again. I'm already looking forward to it. Aren't you, Zach? Zach. Like I said, the whole mystery behind Siri Zach White. and York. Mm, these scents. It's the deep south. Well, so it smells like shit. Mm, that was a fabulous breakfast. You're the world's has... greatest chef. Uh, wait, mister. You didn't take a single bite. Well, the tea was to die for. You drink coffee. But I prefer coffee next yeah. time. What would a morning be without coffee? They, these are the kind of details that you remember from a game if you like it. Like he's drinking tea and it's, no, you drink coffee. Just those small details. As long as FK doesn't turn up in the coffee. If FK turns up in the coffee, I'm just going to fucking give up. I am. Because then I'll know it's just Frank Carson. <gasps> There's an axe up here. Oh, yeah, because this controller's fucked, that's why. I've got 300 HP. Nice. Oh! He's the murderer. He can just disappear in and out of the veil. Oh, I'm finding all different kind of murderers, aren't I? Oh, yep, there's his generic suit. Saint Rouge. We've been chasing it all over America. But. I feel like we're finally on the verge of finding something now. Don't you, Zach? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's about time we ordered a new briefcase. Yes, I know this one carries a lot of memories, but it's seen too much. This hole's from the shootout in Tucson. And this I it was Tucson. from Miami. Ah, uh, Miami. Now that was a fascinating case. Billy, our perp, cut his own torso right in two. Okay. Even with the help of the drugs, a feat like that still requires incredible mental fortitude. I was so impressed that I forgot I'd left my briefcase on the floor. Same floor his blood gushed out onto. I know, Zach, I know. Now isn't the time for a trip down memory lane. An emergent drug that's been on the rise in four southern states. Personally, I think it originated right here in Louisiana. And Lee's Clarkson's murder must be connected to it somehow. The 16-year-old girl who was murdered. Axe. And he draws an axe. Nice. Her body was found beneath a bridge over the bayou, along with a strange altar. The powerful man who essentially controls the town of Lucare. And he seems to be more fearsome than your average gangster. I doubt he'll be willing to cooperate with any law enforcement, Zack. Yeah. That noise is obnoxiously loud. 
just... Dang. Um, I keep thinking about that movie we stopped to see on our way here, Zach. The Island. 2005, directed by Michael Bay. Oh, does it have explosions For in it? being shown at a cinema complex, it was surprisingly artistic. An experimental setting mixed with hard-hitting drama. Michael Bay? It was art house sci-fi. That director's going to change the history of art house films. Oh, if only you knew. Are you following me here? This is another special film that's setting a new standard, just like Star Wars and Blade Runner did. Well, one Star Wars, yes. Blade Runner, really? This is a turning point, Zach. I don't hear a lot of people you talking about Blade Runner. The birth of a vital new word that will soon become a part of film history. Yes, this single movie may be responsible for creating a whole new genre several years down the line. A genre known as island movies. I sure like the sound of that. Don't you, Zach? No. I know how to answer a sorting door. Oh, I'm A-posing. Hey there, Chef. What's cooking? Chef, what are you talking about, sir? I'm the concierge, David. Oh no, we've got a mental problem. I just heard from our chef that you wish to learn the meaning behind our town's name. Yes, I've gathered that Lucare is French, but does it have any special meaning? How about you in French? Yes, sir, of course it does. A very clear, logical meaning. All names have meanings. Would you like to know what this one means? Yes, I would. Jolly good, sir. Then allow me to explain. Well, fuck me, get to the point. Lucare means square in French. Oh, well, because the town's a ah. square. And? That's it. That's it? Yes, that's it, sir. Do you take a gander? Yep, this map, map right here. It fancies you. It's beautiful. Please Very. don't fall off. That map right there. I'm sure That's you'll still in its wrapper. You see it. Now, please excuse me, sir. If you Which I probably won't ever take out. Please don't hesitate to ask. I've got a giant ass map, probably the size of A1. Did you see that, Zach? That was clearly David. Not a twin, not a split personality, just the work of a true professional. It's bizarre, but I can understand it. Remember what they say, the job makes the man. Yay. We beat mission two. <laughs> I'm very satisfied with the decorations and the size of this clock, and it's even got a security box. It's proof that we're... I wanted to change my clothes, but... Oh, I can. If you wear the same clothes for a long time, they'll become dirty. Yeah, I know. Oh, stylish brown. As long as there's a pink suit like there was in the first game. I'll wear it. Zack? Dozens of paintings no one will ever see. Faint scent of tobacco baked into these walls for over a century. Now that's what I call a hotel. Zack, can you see him? His fashion sense is beyond me, but he appears to be a gentleman. Perhaps we should talk to him. But he's not here. Yeah?
Nice tie. Did you buy it here? It's been a long time since someone spoke to me. No one these days ever tries to see me. They can see what's far in the distance, but are blind to what's in front of them. No. Maybe they're only pretending not to see. That's what civilized society does to people. Exactly. Ever since mankind got their hands on civilization, they zoomed away at a frightening speed. Zoomed away from what? <laughs> Don't. You know the answer. As for me, just call me Hoongan. Hoongan. A title given to a leader in a certain religion. Is that what you are? I and Harry Potter. I mean, this has already gone completely batshit insane. Put on your religion hat, Zach. Here we go. Fell tin maidens in the shrine of hunger. Find the flying serpent in the ambiguous zero. Dance with the flying serpent, and you will glimpse the other world. Ten maidens and an ambiguous zero. Got it. But what do you mean by other world? Probably ten women have to die. Someone to gain power. <laughs> Zach, did you hear all that? Looks like we've already. Yeah, and I can also see the pixels in the bloody painting to the right. But such is our duty. We need to accept the chaos, let it inside, then. Carefully dismantle it piece by piece. And after we've put all the pieces back into their rightful places, the truth will reveal itself. Let's capture the truth and present it with a shiny pair of silver bracelet sack. You can just see the bloody pixels on that bloody painting. Terrible video game. Zach, this is Lucare. I think I'm finally starting to understand what our concierge was trying to say. That the town is square? This town was built by a very methodical person. That's usually how America was built. That's why you have just blocks. Didn't care, and that's why it ended up this way. It's just another symbol of mankind's obsession with molding nature to fit our own rules. Yay, Matt. Hey, Matt. Zach, what did you think of Hoongan's Oracle? Despite all the dramatic build-up, it's little more than a childish riddle. Heartwarming, really. Strange music, but whatever, I'll take it. Exactly the kind of feeling one gets from the good old-fashioned countryside. Now let's start by tracking down those ten maidens. The Oracle gave us a place and an act. We need to go to the Shrine of Hunger and fell ten maidens. Now where in this town can one satiate their hunger? The hotel and where? And the ten Diner. maidens that need to be knocked down. Simple, right? Alexis's diner and lane. This is it, Zach. There are even pins and a bowling ball on the sign. I bet we'll be able to eat some Cajun cuisine and bowl there. Maybe even both at the same time. Nice job, Zach. I knew you'd be able to find it. I mean, you said food. Um, it's not exactly that hard. Now for the other oracle. There's no flying serpent on this map. Could it be a contrail, or perhaps a dragon? I'm sure we'll find out later. First, let's just figure out where we need to go. 
Do you know what the ambiguous zero represents? Zero is usually treated as a base number, but under what conditions would a base number be ambiguous? The answer is temperature, Zach. Yes. Zero degrees oh, Fahrenheit you want is minus 17.7 right? degrees Celsius, and zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You'd be hard pressed to find a more ambiguous zero than that. Very funny, Zach. Now it's time to get serious. You already know the answer, don't you? Why I picked the fire station? Because you said. Does our zero refer to Celsius or Fahrenheit? Let's think for a moment. We're in Louisiana. Which measurement system do we use here in America? Fahrenheit. Not quite. I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna with press everything. Of zero degrees Fahrenheit, and there's only one. Considering the oppressive humidity in this town, it would have to be a rather. Oh, you want the food delivery? Food delivery services, cold storage warehouse. Oh yeah, because I wrote down the dragon thing as well, didn't I? Damn it. That's got to be it. Even with this blazing sun in the sky, they can easily keep the temperature below freezing. Be honest now, Zach. You knew the answer from the very start. <laughs> of course I did. Just testing you. I mean, obviously my brain went to fire station because that made the most sense because oh i got five dollars who pays me five dollars to figuring out a puzzle do i go what a mysterious character his oracles may end up determining how much time we spend in this town siggy sorry boss but this is a smoke-free hotel. If you're dying of smoke, head out the entrance and you'll find a smoking area in the rear parking lot. Don't tell me. You're the At bellboy. At your service, boss. Are you good friends with the concierge and the chef? Eh, uh, we work at the same place, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... I can't really say whether we're good friends with each other. We're all professionals, though. Nothing more, nothing less. I believe we've struck gold here, Zack. It just screams deep south. Actually, no, it doesn't. This is all his charm. So, if I want to smoke, I should go out the entrance and around to the rear parking lot? Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, I'll play by your rules. Find spot was blows in the clocks and stole cold storage warehouse. I didn't even get a chance to read any of it. Oh, and that's mission 12. Get a strike and it. Oh, fucking control. Get a strike and it'll like. Diner and Lane. Which I wouldn't exactly be hard, but I have to do this. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs and get the other buddy controller. Because this one's fucked. Once.
compared oh, to non-smokers, bird. smokers have a 4.7 times greater chance of getting lung disease. Oh no, it's her. You know that means it's more likely than getting asbestos poisoning? I mean, you don't really get poisoned by asbestos. from lung cancer is actually much lower than what you think it is. In fact, it's tiny when compared to heart disease, strokes, and pneumonia. We're always surrounded by easy ways to die, you know. Some people even get randomly struck by lightning and die right there on the spot. Then I reckon you also know that secondhand smokers have 1.3 times greater the risk compared to smokers? Of course. So you won't mind paying the damages when I die of lung disease? How about writing that in a How's about you fuck off? You got a pen, right? Bitch. Who the fuck are you anyway? Who walks up to a random stranger and goes, Did you know you're going to kill people by smoking? And you're going to kill me? Fuck you. I'm gonna punch that little shit in the face. Oh, are you gonna die from me doing this? Well, if I put this out in your eye, you might die right now. Oh, that's stupid. By the way, what's your name? Which one? Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Um, is something wrong with you? Adults ain't supposed to act like that. I only asked for your name so I can write it on the contract. You should have been able to figure that out if you're a real FBI agent like you said. Come on, sign I already hate her. Right here on the paper. Just as I thought, Zach. This contract paper. It's a San Rouge wrapper. San Rouge is here, too. This must mean that San Rouge is connected to the Lee's Clarkson murder case somehow. This is a sprawling case that spread across the entire South. It's within our jurisdiction, Zach. We'll need to steal the right to investigate from the local authorities at once. By the way, miss, what's your name? Patricia Woods. But I gotta write my name myself, or else it won't be a real signature. Could you leave me alone? Please. Tell me, Patricia, does this town have a sheriff, or is it under the jurisdiction of the nearest city police? Perfect timing. Well, go on and steal it if you want it. I was just thinking about how this is way out of my daddy's league. Thank you for the information, Patricia. Okay, Zach, it's time to get to work. How should we seize control from the sheriff this time? Ask politely. Even a special agent needs to stay shot when it comes to the basics. Oh, R is dodge and R is run. The hell is the red room? Allows you to enter the red room. Oh, it's this thing. And it has stuff in it. Oh yeah, this has been a thing for a while now. The King Fucker receives covers apparently vast. Yeah, that's... I want to say that, that I, I kind of already knew that in some way. I don't remember how I was told, but... Frame rate. But I know it was, but Far Cry 3 is a masterpiece. Yeah, okay, sure, whatever you say. I don't know why people care about Voss hey there. so much. So, uh, you're the fella from the He's area. just some I've insane character. Around. That's all he I'm is. Melvin. They call me the sheriff around here. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan? But call me York if you can. That's what everyone calls me. Huh? <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Mr. York. How's that sound? Fine by me. <laughs> I'm sure you figured this out, but our town's a small one. Yes, yeah, so it also has no anti-aliasing. Yeah. 
Folks are already busy spreading gossip about how some FBI agents come to town. Now, uh, I reckon you came from the city. Yes, I said, with the whole DC, boss thing as a LA, kid. I mean, or New York. Do you really care about that Anywho, character so much? In the city? He's a good it's villain, but the main villain, which made it interesting. Is. Good villain? Next to you could cook he was a human trafficker. Backyard, and no, one would no real character development beyond that. Now, I never lived um, in one myself. Know. But I Listen, he was all right, time, so but pe people just like, oh my god, he was so wacky. Oh, do you know the it's definition of insanity? It means doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now, does that sound badass or what? Looks like he was good, but I wouldn't put him on a list even close to the top 100 of good villains. I'm just trying to make a little small talk, that's all. And it's just one of those things that, because of the way he was acted, people just fell in love with him, and I really don't know why. So lots of folks get leery when they see an étranger like you. Étranger. To protect the town, I thought I'd mean stop by and say hello. Zach, it looks like this sheriff is quite the happy-go-lucky type. I can't wait for his daughter to die. How peaceful this town is. Melvin, about the Lee's Clarkson case. I knew you were here for that case. No. Can't put one past the FBI. Mm. So they even got eyes on the smallest of towns like us, huh? Mm, mm, mm. Our oh, the animation. Is filled with information, and it's all within their grasp. FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You think he's very much a good adept to be given the shit show over the last fall, Corey? The Lee's oh, Clarkson case is again. connected to a top secret that case that we've character that stands know, out for everyone. Yeah, but it's a character as a kid. What the fuck is he gonna do? Just murder people randomly for no reason? I'm just the humble sheriff of a tiny little town. My jobs are to stop my neighbors from beating the piss out of each other. Like I say, it's it's, it's my entire problem with Ubisoft Honestly, games. This whole murder case. They they think yeah. doing stuff like this so is what makes their games better, and people will eat that shit Mr. up immediately. Agent, you know, <gasps> Voss is back in Far Cry. Oh my god, I have to oh, buy Far that. Cry. Like I didn't buy the last four ones because they yeah, were terrible. But Voss, you know, it will sell shit. But it's like, Melvin, no. there's a cold storage warehouse on the southern end of town. Yeah, to go wait like two to days. Oh yeah, because the um. Say what? You want to Ubisoft E3 thing that they're doing? Oh, I get it now. Lisa's body, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, that's what I call a special agent. You already figured that much out. Mm. But, uh, hmm, I'm not too sure that, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll keep it on. Down there at this I mean, I don't even know when it is. What time is it Sunday when they're doing it? Explain it yourself, Daddy. That's incredible. I don't believe this. Amazing. Did you hear that, Zach? They put the body in a cold storage warehouse. This is fantastic. That's Rocky. Insanely that's Rocky. fantastic. Uh, to busk us while really? fucking... Well, that's a channel to come back from the dead. <laughs> you thought that it looked great. I mean, yeah, but that's my point. Like, back in the well, day, right, I'll head on that to kind the of Ubisoft again. game was Make interesting, sure in a way. Search. But Sounds good. pretty much ever since then, and every then Ubisoft the game has become that cookie cutter, open world, so climb towers, I open up portions of a map, unlock new things, you know, that kind time. of thing. Got it? That's all Ubisoft games have been since then. On, let's roll, CLG. I'm gonna walk home, Daddy. I still got another stop to make. Oh, if you say so, sweetie. <laughs> She's a real sharp one, as you can see. So I try to stay out of her way. Well, I'm right, in York. I'll see you at the warehouse. Whereas I think the first Far Cry game for me, probably Far Cry Vengeance or whatever the Wii One game is. What is this game? It's basically a game that's based off Twin Peaks. Cutscene simulator. I mean, yeah, that's all that's been for an hour and 40 minutes. But no, like, this game is, um. One got a 3 FPS max frame rate. That's the first thing. Um, and second thing, get used to the 3 FPS. I'm not kidding. Oh, I wanted to link that car. The skateboard is your method of getting around Lakari. 
Oh my god, yep. I'm not kidding. That's the entirety of this game in a nutshell. Hey. Like I said, this game really could have used another year of polish. But apparently they're working on patches right now to fix this. Which, you know, you're allergic to low frame rates. I'm not. Or using your FBI connections to sell kids to child trafficking organizations? I wouldn't even sell you. I'd kill you. I've arrested people who've done both, but I've never engaged in either of those activities myself. Of course, I have imagined doing such things in order to learn more about the psychology of the criminals I deal with. It was just a joke. Why are you getting all again. serious? And your throat is swelling up. Yeah, but the frame rate's much. fine right now. It's 30 FPS. Or else I'll get scared. Until I start moving again. Hey. Can no. I come with you? You signed a contract with me, remember? And besides, I'm kind of worried about my daddy. Do whatever you like. This is America, land of the free. You're a responsible adult telling a kid to follow you? On a murder case? But I have one condition. What condition? Sorry. Don't ask me about Zack. It's a private matter. Zack, it feels like she's carrying something with her. Kind of reminds me yeah, of you. Yeah, probably your child. Met. I can't leave her alone like this. You feel the same way, don't you? Not at all. I could not give two, two, two shits about her. Indicators help you stay where directions of her. Landmarks when location is closed, its icon will be grayed out. Oh fuck this. So you sat through a 10 minute dialogue scene and then skateboard 15 feet to another 10 minute cutscene. Yep, pretty much. Well you can sit here watching a 3 FPS game because I need to go downstairs and get my other controller. Because Switch controllers are fucking terrible, it drifts. It does. Sometimes if you flick it right, it just does whatever the hell it wants. Woman. It does. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to get the other controller.
Okay, I'm back. Now I need to go menu, controllers, change grip order. Do that, do that. Throw that to one side because I don't fucking need it anymore. <sighs> oh, two FPS. Oh, no FPS. Oh, this game is going to be so good. Melvin called you a strange name. CLG. What exactly does that mean? Clever little girl. That's what it stands for, at least. It's nice that he made up his own nickname for me and all, but it sounds kind of weird. I wish he'd call me something normal, like just Patricia, Patty, you know? Patricia! Now that name's got a ring to it. I like it. How about Zach and I call you Patty? Also, new Tony Hawk's game, Eat Your Heart Out. Right? Okay, you gonna go oh, Deadly Premonition 2. Sure well, you. it's running at like 5 FPS right now. To fell 10 minutes, and with this consistent frame nice drops when I'm turning the camera. Janky animations. Nice blue and red squirrels. Hang on a fucking minute. Why you bitch? Why are they blue and red squirrels? I'm getting out of here. Well, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt of a red squirrel because, well, I mean, red squirrels exist, but not that fucking red. Hey, Zach, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand. And Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. So it means that you you've not been watching me because of shitty games that I've been playing. Given the case to another special agent. Uh, when it gets to Assassin's Creed and you start jerking all over my stream again. I better increase the frame rate. I can't, obviously. It runs at 30 maximum and it doesn't even run at that 90% of the time. It doesn't. Like maybe when I'm indoors it will do, but But as of right now, no. I can't Let's do anything go. with the frame rate. That was mighty quick. The special agent does it again. <laughs> you sure don't waste any time. I bet my CLG's got a lot to learn from you. Uh, uh, by the way, Mr. York, looks to me like you aren't packing anything. Listen, just because I'm white doesn't mean you can take the piss out of me for that, dude. I was on vacation in New Orleans before I happened to stop by here. <laughs> well, shoot, that won't do. Here, I got some I think you'll like. <laughs> I call him Mr. Alligator. Badass, ain't he? It's purple. It's a tranquilizer gun for the gators. And here's a radio. With this, you won't have to worry about any expensive roaming fees. Might take you a while to get used to them, but you'll get it. Try letting them rip a few times. Ain't no need to hold back out here. Is that L point going to aim for? Reload. Full frame rate. Also, who fires a gun doing this? I'm a special agent. Bang, bang, bang. Hmm. Now this I thought it'd be more like that. For a tranquilizer gun, it really packs a punch. But I'm afraid I'll decline. After all, this town is peaceful, isn't it? Well, sure is peaceful. At least the humans are. Yeah, I know. I had a run-in with a squirrel a minute the ago. The animals? <laughs> a different story. Uh, remember what I named it? There are some real mean-ass gators out there in the swamps. 
and every now and then, they wander into town. One of them even went and ate a kid once. It happened a long time ago, but still, one chomps all it takes. They swallow down every last bit of you. Poor kid's parents didn't even know what to put in his coffin. The worst part is, that taught the gators just how tasty we humans are. So oh. now, those suckers just attack on sight. Man-eating crocodiles will feast tonight in Blood Swamp. You know he's Full living, animation. right? Gators don't attack folks. I never heard about no kid getting swallowed by a gator. You never heard about no kid. So you heard about a kid getting eaten by an alligator. Actually, Patricia, you're wrong. I'm what? Alligators do attack people, and it could happen in any town. Huh? Alligator, 1980. Directed by Louis Teague. It takes place in the Midwest, I believe. A teenage girl's pet alligator gets flushed down the toilet. Then, in the sewer, it feeds on the corpses of dogs that were used as test subjects for an experimental growth formula. After growing over 30 feet, it finally starts to go after humans. This is a movie? It's a, yes, an extremely edifying movie. Back when I first saw it, I had a pet hamster. Hey, Agent York, what's your first order of business? You're in charge now, remember? Well said, Patricia. I nearly lost sight of my true goal. Melvin, I couldn't help but notice the name on the side of that truck. This facility is connected to the victim, isn't it? Oh, oh, right, yeah. I reckon I better start from there. I'm gonna tell it to you straight right from the beginning, Mr. York. As you guessed, this warehouse is run by the Clarksons. The victim's father, Danny Clarkson, is the one who manages the whole place. Okay, but why did he choose to store her body in his own warehouse, right? Well, that's cause there ain't no other place to store it. Our town has a clinic inside a church, but no more. Whenever someone kicks the bucket, we just bury him in the graveyard right outside of town. But not this time. We got a murder on our hands this time. We need to give Lisa's body an autopsy and keep it stored, right? So we had no choice but to rent out a corner of this warehouse. Why would you need to rent out a corner of the warehouse if it's the victim's father's warehouse? I see. So that's what led to the ingenious choice to store the victim's body in a facility that her family owns. Anywho, this is where the real story begins. Truth is, a few days before you got here, Lisa's body went missing. Missing? Yeah. All of a sudden, <laughs> poof. Yeah. Did you leave the warehouse unlocked? Maybe. I most certainly did not. I locked the whole place up and made sure no one could get inside. No one stole the original key, and I couldn't find any fingerprints at the scene. So, in other words, this is a locked room mystery. The body of a beautiful young girl walks in. I'll punch him in the face. I, hey! Thanks. <laughs> all right, all right, CLG. Reckon I should have told you about this earlier when you first said you wanted to come here. <laughs> it just didn't seem like the time or places I remember. Anywho, how about we call it a day and head back to my office? You can go through all the files there. No, thank you. This is what I came to investigate. But Lisa's body isn't here anymore. You sure? That doesn't bother me one bit, Melvin. You see, I met a skeletal gentleman on my way here, and he was kind enough to give me an oracle. You holding up okay, CLG? Well, she's only wearing shorts, so no. You sure you don't want to wait outside? Oh, hey, Tom. That FPS, what FPS? You have not seen anything. 
You wait until I get outside and then it drops to like 3 FPS. Oh, I'll be fine, Daddy. Just make sure you don't take your eyes off of him. He's so selfish and inconsiderate. I'm still not convinced he's actually a real FBI agent. Oh, hey, bye, Blazer. Look, he's talking to himself again. No, he's talking to... F Frank, Zach, This is Olive. the ambiguous zero, the deep freeze. He's talking to himself. And find that flying serpent, shall we? You mean the dragon? Can I go down? How the fuck do I go down? I can't go down. Oh. Yeah, that's right. You get him. You're... It's great how the animation for the punching is fairly fast and fluid. And then when you go to the running, it's that. Ooh, tutorial visions. You can use visions to acquire important hints that will help you proceed through the game. I ain't no bitch, fuck you. Yes, it's quite the fun house. Truly a dazzling place. Meat entertainment. That's the only way to describe it. Woven <laughs> together <laughs> That's by what you life, call my porn star name. Time, Hi, I'm Meat Entertainment. Musical. Symphony. We eat all this in order to survive. Yes, truly a symphony. Life and death resonating together. Yeah, it's really cool. Not really. I mean, because it's cold. Huh. Whoa, now, CLG. Since when were you interested in this kind of stuff? You don't want to know. What are you so surprised for, Daddy? I'm more mature than you are. The more you call him Daddy, I've the more I'm gonna more leave. Realistic corpses on CSI, you know. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. At first sack, I was shocked by the notion of storing a victim's body alongside food. But as I gaze upon this hanging garden, I realize it's just another scene of violent, depraved murder. Yes. Oh, so you've got a dragonfly on your helmet? Point of view, and things will expose themselves in utterly new ways. Scale. Melvin, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you a personal question. In the hotel parking lot, when I first met you, the picture you had on your dashboard happened to catch my eye. Was that your wife? No, it's what's her name? It's the victim. Oh, her? Oh, no. Yeah, and that's my lady. Wait, right. hang on a minute. Candy. Her name's Candy. You married a stripper. Prettiest girl in town, which makes me the happiest boy. A shooting star landed in a. If you keep doing this, I will punch you in the right gonads. On top of a man who now has a meteor struck heart. You always keep her photo with you? <sighs> you bet I do. The truth is, Candy's a little sick right now. She can't even leave the house no more. 
So I always keep her photograph with me. It kind of feels like we're always together, you know? I see. You care for your wife a great deal. But this means that... Yeah, that's right. My mama had me before she married daddy. <gasps> You're a bastard. But it don't matter. He's still my real daddy to me. <laughs> oh, thank you, CLG. And you're my pride and joy. Well, Zach, isn't this a heartwarming scene? But there's one thing I just can't get out of my mind. Don't you think that photograph looked a bit too old? Perhaps Candy is already... No, let's not think about that. 84? It might be a private matter, just like you, Zach. Here we are, Zack. The morgue. They stored the victim's body in a cold storage warehouse operated by her family. I'd love to shake the hand of whoever came up with that one. Yeah, well, would this even hey, work? Agent York. Did you just come here to laugh at rural officers who are doing the best they can? You damn right I did. We don't have huh? any special facilities like you people. What else did you expect us to do, huh? Kill the morgue. Don't compare us with city folk. This is Lucare! Or maybe you're just disappointed that you didn't get to see the bloated, decomposing corpse of a young girl. Yeah, I know, I kind of wanted to. Sorry, <laughs> fuck you're it, right. but. I went a bit too far just now. But don't. And again, you can see I the fucking think it's a graphics and idea. pixels along the clocks and logo. I'd never try and bully your daddy. <laughs> Better not. What are you gonna do about your shit? For understanding. What do you want me to do? Kick you, kick you in your cunt? Whoops! Sorry. What mess? Bullfrog tongue. Mm, lovely. Sometimes you come across hidden passages and eerie that cannot be entertained. Oh, crouch. Midget, please. What? Barefooted. Look at the thermometer, Zach. It's at 10 degrees Fahrenheit, or a minus 12.2 degrees Celsius. This must not be the ambiguous zero. These pallets are a mess. Looks like this area isn't used often. Still, the idea to store a body here, it's a novel, sophisticated idea. Again, like by the one day you will get a midget please emote. Boxes that got left behind. I can't tell what's inside. What do you think, Zach? I'm gonna go with... Okra. Yeah, okra. I'm sure it must be okra. That's a staple. You say okra so once more. Boxes of the past or presents of the future. Either way, this is a curious time capsule. Forgotten box it looks like shelled headless shrimp when were these boxes brought here and when will they be taken away zach can you feel it the perpetual unstoppable flow of time <laughs> an icicle never thought i'd see one of these down in the south you're in a stoke no, no, no. zach can you see that that's right there are four imprints in the frost on the top of this. It's hard to believe, but I think these are fingerprints. Yes, Zach, that would lead one to believe that the body napper is a giant who's over 10 feet tall. Yep. Zach, these are human footprints, and they're extremely large. Feet. Yes, Zach, I agree. These footprints must belong to someone who's used to walking around in cold temperatures. Or didn't want to wear shoes because a shoe print will give off exactly who you are. Because no one does fingerprints for feet. This frost is shaped that like seems something most likely. we're very 
used to seeing. That's right, a body bag. Lisa's body must have been left here. But there are no signs that the bag was dragged away. Victor. So our criminal must possess monstrous strength. Yes, we're looking for the Hulk. That's who we're looking for. Oh, I got $65 for doing nothing? That's the Seems kind of like pain we all need. Just walk up and go, hmm, body bag. Give me $65 now. Is this everything, Melvin? There aren't any other rooms in this warehouse? No special rooms? Well, there is the luxury foods warehouse. Luxury foods? Why didn't you say so earlier? <sighs> just thought you wanted to see where the body... Uh, I mean, I just thought you were only interested in warehouse number two. Besides, it's underground, so it's even colder than this. Uh, you sure you really want to go down there? You could darn well freeze to death. All life will come to an end. Let me punch you in the face. Zone. <laughs> you feel me? Let's head there at once. I'm sure that must be where we're meant to go. But, but what about searching for Lisa's body? All we need to do is find a ten foot tall man with monstrous strength. That giant knows where she is. <laughs> ten foot tall? But finding the flying serpent is more important right now. Now please. Guide me to the luxury foods warehouse at once. These luxury foods are most likely being used in local Cajun cuisine. I'm so excited to see what we'll find. Aren't you, Zach? Not really. I mean, unless it's food I can eat, but... Ever see any shiny stuff on the floor? Let me know. Can't even Elevator needs a key, Mr. York. Do you have one? Actually, no. I didn't think you'd ever want to go down there. So I didn't bother to go and get one. Well, then, would you go and get one now? Uh, yeah, yeah. COG, I know. I'll tell it to him straight. Uh, thing is, Mr. York, you know the Clarksons, the folks who own this place? Well, they don't too much like the police. They sure as hell don't like them when they're my color. It was, uh, real hard for me to get permission to open up this place for you to search through. So they ain't gonna be too happy if I go back to them now, asking for another key. What should we do then? Let's just find a worker here who can lower the elevator for us instead. All they need to do is take a break from their work for a couple minutes. And what am I supposed to do? Just stand here and pretend like nothing's happening? Yeah, you FBI folks are good at that, right? That's always what I see you doing on TV. The elevator won't move without a key. Think you two can go and figure something out? I'll search around here. I know they didn't make you a sp <laughs> Zach, I think we can move this. 
Better check back here as well, just to be on the safe side. Oh, that pull animation. No, oh, come on. When I mash the B button, please let go. Oh, crawfish, huh? I'm assuming I can sell this stuff for money. Zack, the human ability to adapt is a frightening thing. Some humans have the power to sleep anywhere as long as they set their minds to it. I can't. Now we should be able to operate the elevator. No need to worry. This facility no longer has a body to steal. What else do they have to lose? A few cans of crawfish? I feel bad for him, but... It's, it's what's the in the crawfish. This will explain why the woman, the FBI agent, has cut her finger on the can opener. Mr. York, did you find a key? Now that's my special agent. There ain't no stopping you. Wanna head straight down? You bet. Let's sally forth, Melvin. Zach, look at that thermometer. Zero degrees Fahrenheit. Or minus 17.7 degrees Celsius. My final Celsius. game so far. Well, I'm surprised I got this far, considering it runs at 3 FPS. This but, is know. the ambiguous zero. Then when you watched the first 4 or 5 hours last night at midnight release, well, I'm only 2 hours in, so... You've already seen all this. Hey, Avery! Open the damn door, Avery! It ain't no use, Mr. York. It's true to form the first one. Anchor's fault. Wait, what do you mean? Once Avery starts working on something, that's all he sees. He just tunes out everything else. We'll have to wait until he finishes and comes out to us, I reckon. Or we could come back tomorrow. Because they have played the first one. And so I far, and saying the first one doesn't immediately run at 3 FPS when you boot the game up. I have to give that the FPS Time issues may mainly what in this. Yeah, well. Doesn't mean we should waste it. You gave me Mr. Alligator precisely for moments like these, didn't you? Wait, Mr. York! Those tranquilizers may be non-lethal, but it's still dangerous to use them on humans! Of course, Melvin. I never said I was going to shoot him. You're gonna shoot some meat to get his attention. I mean, I can shoot my meat. I'm right, ain't I? I mean, I don't know how that's a mission. 
whatever. I want to save first. Why did I go all the way to the bottom? Why? Like so you, you can ask me what I think of it. Maybe in a day or two. Obviously, right now it's mostly just cutscenes and stuff. So. And considering the beginning of the game is an hour long. Hi, Avery. I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. York. Uh, you were smarty pants. Hmm? Maybe. A very smith. Nice name. <laughs> He's shyer than he looks. Come on, just settle down, Avery. Tell him what this here place is for. Lots of expensive food here. Yep. Mighty precious to the Clarksons. So I gotta guard it. I see. So you're this area's keeper. Oh, I help with the research, too. I do like research. Mm. Research? What are you talking also, about? Also, that head just this rolled across like the bloody screen. To me. <laughs> oh, ain't no lab. It's a warehouse. Ain't no lab. Uh, smarty pant scientist does the research. <laughs> I ain't no smarty pants, no. He's a bit slow in the mind, but he ain't a bad guy. Oh. Your story about the giant who carried Lisa. Don't tell me you think it's him. Nope. I mean, it's true that he's free to come and go as he pleases in this warehouse, but... No, as far as I can tell, he's just a bit over 6'5". The one who moved Lisa's body must be at least ten feet tall. Oh. He's clearly too short. <sighs> too short, huh? Well, if you ever happen to find a man who makes him look small, I sure like to meet him. You probably- it's her, isn't it? She's got shape-shifting abilities. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Lisa. <laughs> Lise? Why? Avery, that's not Lise. Not Lise? This is Melvin's daughter, and my precious assistant. Unfortunately, Lise is no longer with us. Lise! Lise! <laughs> My yeah. fault! My Animation's fault. not great. He, uh, I guess he sort of liked Lise, you know? Let's see, the poor fella's got himself a child like mine. You know how normal kids tease other kids in order to get attention? Well, with this big lug, sometimes folks who don't know him too well see something in... End up calling the police. This damn game. Yeah, no yep. down. He's got a good heart. Hey, Mr. York. I'll keep him busy. But I'd appreciate it if you'd hurry this particular inspection along. Just holler at me if you find anything. I reckon that'll make it easier for you to go do your thing. Yeah? Melvin, I think you're finally starting to catch on. Thanks, Melvin.
Found it. Avery, this box looks <laughs> special. Clocks and food. Mm. For their home. Melvin, is this the Clarkson's family crest? <laughs> oh, the dragonfly? Yeah, that's the Clarkson's mark, all right. Ain't no big deal, though. You can find those all over town. Is that so? Well, yeah. They pretty much run all of this town's major industries. Yeah. I do believe they own just about everything there is to own. So their word is law. They got the whole darn town tattooed with their dragonflies. Can't even walk a few steps without seeing one. Zack, this dragonfly is our flying serpent. The flying serpent owns this town. They're related to Lise Clarkson, our victim. And Hoongan's oracle pointed us toward their family crest. The Clarksons must be deeply... You do know you could have just asked days. Melvin that question. We wouldn't have to have come in here. Melvin, Patricia, I think I've had enough of this frozen world. Let's head back out to that merciless sun. Well, what are you waiting for? I can't bear to spend another second down here. Now we can go back to our two FPS fun. Fuck off! God damn it. Never really fucking do. Mm. Well, now I've got to go. I've got to go bowling. Hey, Nico. And get a strike. Specifically, is what the mission wants me to do. Oh. Um. We'll maybe do that. And before it takes like 10 years because the game runs at 1 FPS when you bowl so it doesn't register hitboxes. Whew. So, what do we do now, Mr. York? Zack and I will take things from here. Uh, then what should I do? Tend to your sick wife? I don't know. You're free to do as you please. I'll stop by the sheriff's office when I need your help again. I suppose that's what I'll do then. It'll sure make Candy happy, <laughs> but I am the sheriff of this town, so I do intend to get some work done. I know. How about I search for Lisa's body while you're busy? Not a bad idea. Just be careful that you don't get attacked by a barefooted giant. Hey, don't scare me like that. Why do you keep talking about that giant anyway? You really think some giant was responsible for all this? Melvin, don't be silly. Of course I do. Just when I thought you were starting to catch on. Disappointing, to say the least. In before, but genuinely, so right sure. at the end of this game, some I giant turns up out of nowhere. Proof number one. The footprints that led up to where Lisa's body originally was were made with bare feet. None of the prints looked similar to those of common insulated boots, and the arches of the feet were visible. The person who carried out Lisa's body must have had very large feet. I'd say they were at least 16 inches. Wow. You know what they say about big feet? Proof number two. I found fingerprints on the cord of one of the hanging lights in the warehouse. The fingerprints weren't aimed up from below. They were coming directly from the side. Clearly, the giant moved the light because it was in his way. He pinched the cord with his fingers. Proof number three. There was nothing else found in the vicinity where Lisa's body was stored. This means the giant carried her out without dragging her across the floor. But there's only one set of footprints. The only conclusion I can draw from this evidence is that a barefooted giant standing over 10 feet tall carried Lisa's body out. That concludes the entirety of my proof. Any objections, Melvin? Um, yeah, the giant part. But there ain't no way a human could ever be that tall. Have you seen every human alive with your own eyes? Well then, you need I mean, to forget like all your 12. preconceived notions when embarking on an investigation. Whether you come face to face with a 10-foot giant or a skeletal gentleman, you always need to accept everything that comes to you with a clear mind. Do that, and eventually the truth will reveal itself to you. You're a smart kid, I'm sure you understand. 
Well, I'll be Also, dang. I'm going to assume her necklace has something to do with this. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Mr. FBI Special Agent, sir. A sharp eye. Nope. I won't ever question you again. Heck, I'll do whatever you say. That's it, Melvin. I'm glad take you finally caught on. Now. Okay. Time to go, Patty. You know this town well, so I'd like you to accompany me from now on. Oh, no. Patty? Now we can enjoy our three that FPS we found the flying serpent. Now we simply need to locate the ten maidens. It's time to head on to Alexis's diner and lane. Back is the well, minus is the map. Yeah, it's nice that you go oh no skateboarding and not oh no frame rate. the anti-aliasing as well. Two lollipops. Three lollipops. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me, Zach. This is how I wake myself up. Oh, because you know this is boring. I'm glad that you're self-aware video game. So, what do you think of this? I'm talking about him. Who not? Is the skeletal gentleman friend or foe? Or does he merely exist outside the realms of other? Still too early to tell. But it's clear that he'll be the key to uncovering this case's mysteries. That's what my soul tells me. Either way, Zach. Patty, is something wrong? I got something to say. When I first met you in the hotel parking lot, you mentioned Saint Rouge, right? If you oh. want to find it, maybe you should track down Professor R. Professor R? Yeah. Professor R owns the jazz bar on the other side of the bayou. How do you know that? Uh, because. She's trying to be the local bike of the village. Because, huh? Interesting. Filthy. Alexis's has been on a lot. Okay. And now I've got to get a steer. Right? Which means we might be here for a while. Fuck off. Hold 
You don't get more generic southern country than this music. Oh no, it's an old white woman. She's bowling. Fuck me, that, that was low. Ten maidens, Zach. Let's topple their hourglass figures and complete this oracle once and for all. Oh my lord. I don't believe I've seen you around here before. <laughs> Sorry, honey, but you can't smoke in here. You're the bloody you concierge, Patricia, brother. I'm guessing you're some friend of Melvin's. He's Agent York from the FBI. This is Alexis, the owner of this restaurant. I'm helping out Agent York in his investigation. We signed a contract. Oh my lord, well ain't that something. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Everyone's always called me that. Oh my lord. Well, that's got to be the strangest introduction I've ever yes, heard. No wonder everyone in town's been talking about you. Look, you snickering at bitch. <laughs> I want a chocolate Just... sundae, but no cherries. I want two wafers instead. Don't put too many Rice Krispies on it. Oh, but don't scrimp on the chocolate syrup either. <laughs> oh, my lord. And what'll it be for you, honey? Alexis, are these photos of the town? Oh, you like my pictures? My hobby's collecting snapshots of what our town used to be like. So whenever someone gives me an old picture, I just put it up here on display. Our world these days feels a bit cold to me, you know? Just thought it'd be nice to help folks remember what it was like in the good old days. Zach, did you hear that? The good old days. Even in a remote town that's already far behind the times, there are still people who yearn for the past. She told me what was going on, you know. What? Lise, you don't need to try and hide it from me, honey. Last time she came here, she told me all about it. Some odd fella was following her around. Stalking her like. And she what didn't tell the fella? police. She said he had a really tall shadow. How tall? As tall as an oak tree. Did that ring any bells for you? Sadly, it didn't. I know just about everyone in this here town, but I ain't never seen a man who stands that tall. Maybe it really was an oak tree, and she just mistook it for someone. Sometimes the silhouettes of them trees, with lots of Spanish moss hanging down, make me feel a little funny, too. I don't think so, Alexis. Lise said the shadow was following her, correct? That means she must have been stalked by a man as tall as an oak tree. If she had Great only mistaken an oak show. tree for a person, she wouldn't have described it that way. She might have said, hmm. It felt like a crowd of people was staring at me. Yes, exactly. She certainly wouldn't have talked about being followed by someone. Thank you, Patty. Zach, this data is all very intriguing, but it isn't the answer we're looking for. We came to knock down the Ten Maidens, remember? Oh, yeah! Booyah! Oh, I got a turkey! Gobble, gobble. Really mesmerizing, Zach. This is why I never tire of small-town investigations. Same goes for you, right? Isn't a turkey a fucking, um, perfect score? See, now the only actual way you play bowling is you stand here, grab the ball, run all the way to the end, slide down, kick him, and then run all the way back up again before security sees. From, from what I've been told. You believe it's three strokes? Excuse me. I don't fucking know. I don't bowl. Oh, 
<laughs> last time I bowled was before my bloody surgery last year. You're a handsome one. Well, this year, but I played it last year. City, didn't you? I can always spot you city folk from a mile away. Mrs. Carpenter. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Would you mind calling me York, ma'am? Oh, so you are from the FBI. <laughs> I thought as much. What was it, the white guy generic hair, black suit? <laughs> well, my horoscope in the paper today told me I'd be meeting someone new. And those horoscopes never miss. They are oh, the they always real miss. deal. Well, one even predicted when I'd bowl my first perfect game. Oh, no. Oh, could you stand a bit closer to me? Whew, that was a close one. If you move any further that way, you'll cast a shadow over the lane. Well, the sheriff did that once, and something horrible happened. The next time I bowled, I got a gutter ball. First time in 12 years, I was mortified. And I am going to make sure nothing like that ever happens again. This is what happens when your people feel for superstitions. Some routines lead to good things, while others only lead to the bad. So, you mustn't ever cast a shadow over the lane. Is that understood? It's her routine, Zach. Understand? Just like us and coffee. Incidentally, I mean, ma'am, would you mind letting me use this lane too? I'm investigating the Lee Clarkson murder case. And I think by me I bowling, I can figure something out. No matter what it takes. No, absolutely not. Not even the FBI can take my lane from me. I haven't given it up once ever since my husband passed away over a decade ago. Well, I'm sorry, haunted cunt lady, but... Him. But... Now, if you'll excuse me... what I'm talking about. Who's your mama? Oh no. Zach, All the animations. Like negotiations have failed. Now I'm afraid we have no choice but to force her to let us use her bowling lane. You yes, push I her over. She's made of glass. Huh. I would have. Oh, tranquilizer. What'll it be, honey? Oh, side quest. Found one. Gather one rice. Bitch, I want more than one rice in my dish. And eating it will increase my... St Hello. Agent York, if you're fixing to bowl, you're gonna be disappointed. Mrs. Carpenter never lets anyone else use the lane while she's here. Looks like I can just pick up and throw her out the door. Patty, that's exactly what I came to do. 
You see, Zack and I need to bowl down ten maidens. Fine. Go on and try if you wanna. But I'm gonna eat my sundae. It's Friday. Hey! Are you nuts? What's the most addictive drug in the world? Sugar. What should I know? It's sugar, Patty. Far more people die from obesity and diabetes than from cocaine and heroin. You should try it. <laughs> Alexis, would you give her some milk? Oh, my lord. Coming right up, honey. Sugar might be dangerous, but it ain't against the law. You got no right to take that from me, even if you are some I'm paying FBI for agent. it. Actually, Patty, I do. We signed a contract, remember? I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. Hey! Ooh. Mmm, delicious. What an awesome. amazing chocolate sundae. Zach, I think we just uncovered an incredible treasure here. I feel like I could eat one of these every day while we're in this I'm town. I'm not doing it. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, these animations, eh? What Libby? Is yeah. this place a yeah, bowling alley or a restaurant? Neither. Oh my lord, what's wrong, honey? Can't tell the difference? It says restaurant right there on the outside. And how do you explain that then? That's so the customers can bowl while they eat. Convenient, no, ain't it? No, it isn't. <laughs> if you want to bowl, honey, you'll have to ask Mrs. Carpenter to open up the lane for you. But if you just want to eat, then all you need to do is call my name. Got it? <laughs> oh. Shrimp and grits, duck hash. Like, can why can I not go down? Like, I can't. I just did it then, and I don't know how. I can only go right. I'm never gonna be able to do anything in this so doesn't do anything I want to see what you have the fucking work who I fucking hate developers so much how how do you get this wrong how like, I can't Nothing works. Only holding up or down work. How do you... Come back anytime, honey. You ain't gonna find any better Cajun food in all of Louisiana. Oh, come here. Excuse me, Mrs. Carpenter. Stop! Not now! Can't you see I'm already in my bowling stance? What, are you blind? See again, developers, play test your own sodding games. Because that's a very basic thing to get wrong, a menu system. Let me pick up this split. Holy m works on a split. Oh, yeah, it never fails. <laughs> Zack, our new friend, appears to be a very superstitious lady. We should try and utilize this trait of hers in order to gain access to the lane for a bit. That was an amazing shot, Mrs. Carpenter. In fact, it may have been the most amazing shot I've ever seen. Not as best as this one, though. Speaking of which, where did you happen to find all those neat little items? The ones you used to help you bowl that split just now. Ooh, you got a keen eye there, Mr. Special Agent. Taking a liking to my collection, have you? Oh, yes. A great liking. I buy all my charms and power stones from Erzuli Frida. Erzuli Frida? Yes. It's a mystical establishment run by the Mirror. The Mirror? 
If you're interested, I can mark it on your map for you. Zack, this is it. Erzuli Frida. There must be a treasure trove of dubious trinkets on sale there. We may even be able to find something capable of changing her mind. Yeah, it's called a bullet. It feels like we're in the deep south now, doesn't it? What, having rich white arseholes telling me what to do? That sounds about right. to a five minute load screen. Oh. Red leaves. I found blanked out for a minute and then I won't lie. Great, mate. Yes. I'm guessing you can upgrade the skateboard. Deep I feel it every time that molten hot sun pours down on me. Don't use that. Oh, there she goes. Sequence. Oh, no secrets. This is the deep south. I feel it every time that molten hot sun pours. Yeah, you're gonna keep repeating the same shit unless you finish talking. I assume. I shoot them. Is this the house I'm up? Also, is that a JPEG? I guess I'll never know. Voodoo shop. It's a voodoo shop. Just looks like a dumb souvenir shop to me. Of course it does, Patty. You're much too young to understand the true value of such a place. Oh no, it's not a JPEG. Kind of. This is all kid stuff. It's just a bunch of charms. Are you not going to finish that sentence? I'm allowed to watch TV and go on the internet, but I ain't allowed in here? My daddy makes no sense sometimes. You agree, right, Agent York? Well, guns aren't for kids. It's just kid stuff. Look at this, Zack. All the mysticism of the Deep South gathered up into one quaint little shop. This is a hundred times more exciting than the FBI evidence vault. It's a vast treasure chest. So much to study, so much to learn. Voodoo with your hoodoo? And your why do with a what do? Hello, random woman. Oh no, it is Dracula. Who has black teeth. 
Thou art a seeker, and I see the object of thy desire. Pull this dick out. <laughs> Doth this be what thou seekest? Not really. I could sell it to thee now. And only now. Surely fortune shall not bless thee with another chance. Purchase this and know that thy wishes shall be granted. That's crazy. Even I can tell you're getting cheated, Agent York. Yeah, like say her medallion I mean this thing has a dragonfly on it. I've been studying that's gonna have for quite that's a gonna have probably a key or an answer to everything that, that we're looking for. Is connected to our future. My price is true. What six? If you say six thousand dollars, I'm gonna punch you in your black teeth. Because I'm racist and I only like white teeth. Oh, don't make me actually choose it, please. Oh, thank God. I'll buy it. Thou art a man of refined taste. I am loath to part with it, but twould be a fool's errand to keep it from such a keen-eyed soul. You realize who the little kid is? What, well, the voice actress? You, no you tell me that I'll tell you. Of junk like that. Not even at a garage sale. Marvelous, isn't it, Zack? What a treasure. I can't wait to use it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Use it? Where? How? Isn't it obvious, Patty? One emote to tell me everything I need to know. I'm going to put it in front of Mrs. Oh, Carpenter's house. In front of her house? Yes. I'm sure this figurine well, will then. stop her right in her tracks. <laughs> and that'll give us a chance to finally topple the Ten Maidens. Are you serious? Yes, Mona, I am. Can we go now? Of course I am. And so is Zack. Aren't you? I'm seriously wondering if I should quit helping bed. you out with this. Yep. There you go. That's my yawning thing. Oh, 15? Nice. I've got to wait till 10 p.m.? The fuck am I going to do till then? Oh, she phased. Oh, side mission. Talk to the mirror at Azuli Fleet Nemo. Fucking Mona, god damn it. No, wrong button. Yeah, I've gotta wait till fucking half ten at night, god damn it. Oh, I forgot, I can't go down because the button doesn't work. Collect the ingredients, Alexis needs to make a special Cajun dish. Alexis, gather one rice. I don't fucking know where rice is. Or talk to the mirror at Azuli Frida and create any voodoo charm. Mihalama. Verily. Charm. Charms help you out in various ways. Necklaces boost bullets' elemental effects. Dolls boost physical abilities. Incense boost skateboard abilities. Talismans boost your performance in mini games. You can create charms at Uzuli Frida and equip them at the altar. Enhance your charms at Uzuli Frida, pick what charms you like most and enhance them to create your own personal voodoo loadout. You can also expand your altar so that you can equip more charms at once. Creating, enhancing and expanding will all cost you some materials and money! How is time even passed just waiting? I don't know. The game has not given me an option to wait yet, or at least not one that I know of. If I can't wait and I have to do side content, it's going to be a little annoying, but it'll be fine. See, now here we run into the problem of I want to go down, but I can't. Boost gun capabilities, range plus two, power plus two. God, they really need to fix this immediately. They do.
because I can't. Oh, concentration, life. Go down, please. Stamina. The developers are accepting all areas and patch tips on social media. I, someone get on the horn with them right now and t clip this. Clip this right now. Could you please, developers, if you ever watch this, fix this? Because I can't go up or down at all unless I hold it. Please fix it. Someone clip that and send it to him. <laughs> please. Fucking hell. I thought I said fap doll for a minute then. So I, I can't I can't do anything. I can't. I can see thou The game wants me to do stuff, but I can't. Rectal 5 be beads to unlock insurmountable value. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Uh. Well, look at you, all standing there like you're expecting me to apologize. It's your fault for not paying attention. Fuck you, bitch. I don't care who you think you are. I will slit your throat myself. You got a moment? Can't say I do. I'm in a hurry here. Yeah, I'm I can tell. Too much of your time. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. I said I'm in a hurry, Pickerwood. Now get out of my way. Four feet. Patty, who was that? Kalina Clarkson. PJ Clarkson's second daughter, and Lisa's mother. Zack, we've found ourselves a Clarkson. Yeah, but where's Jeremy? She's not here. My dolly. She's not here. My dolly isn't here. One of the key persons in this case just came out of the woodwork to meet us. Now things are really getting interesting. Isn't that right, Zack? Oh god. No, never mind. I've actually played one of them, you know the tube things that you're just hearing the I don't know what the fuck it's called, but I played one of them when I was a kid. It was great when you've got a giant hole about that big and you've gotta basically insert and pretend it's an ass and eat it out to make a noise. So don't you worry about it, Blaze, I've got some experience. Also, whose emote is that? Who are you cheating on me with? Didgeridoo, that's it, thank you. Yeah, I played Didgeridoo as a kid. Basically, whenever I was at schools, they always... Any, any instrument that I played was always a blowing instrument. I don't know if the schools were trying to tell me something, like, here, wrap your lips around this, young boy. Or, yes, stick your tongue in this hole and make a noise. Oh, yeah, I am having you. I'm- um, stop pressing that bloody button. That's how that works. Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were a mess. Oh, 
busted up and undergoing maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain. Oh, going up and down on this menu works. It does. Yeah, going up and down on this menu bloody well works. Shut up. All busted up and undergoing. If you're gonna repeat the same things, Mr. York. Swamp, so the ground is soft. Oh. Yeah, why does it Again, also developers, if you're somehow watching this as well, please do not have me save and boot the thing to the fucking bottom. Please. So I can turn to pork. One has better FPS than this. Because this game has been poorly developed. I'm sorry, devs, but you know, you knew this. Releasing this game at this point. You knew that releasing it now was too early. Or too lazy and incompetent to actually wait three months, for an example, to push it out the door as a finished product rather than just pulling it out now to get sales. Like, they know full well no one's buying this. Hi there, handsome. Looking faulty to match the original on purpose. No, I know. But that's no excuse. Like, the first game was clunky and terrible because the developers had no idea what the fuck they were doing. So then that just kind of became a thing for that game. So if they're trying to do it again with this one... Listen, developers. We completely understand janky animations. I don't care. But 2 FPS frame rate? That, that is not an artistic style, that is stupid ideas or lazy development because you can't make a game run on, on one console. As much as I may enjoy this game and as much as I enjoyed the original, there is no excuse to not make a game run at a minimum solid 30 FPS. I don't care if it's... Like, I don't care if it's 30 over 60, I'm not bothered. But if you're telling me that they chose this frame rate to make it artistic in a way... This is the deep south. I feel it every time that molten hot sun pours down on me. Don't you, Zach? Hey, Zach, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route that is right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand, and Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. We just happened to hear news about Lisa's murder while sitting in a bar during our vacation in New Orleans. That certainly wouldn't have happened if we had stayed in D.C. They would have given the case to another special agent, or maybe even to the state. Bad timing, Zach. We need to place the fig- Let's come back. Are oh, you telling me I can't just do this and wait? Because I know there isn't a wait option. Oh, collectibles? 
Four hundred. My heart just skipped a beat for a minute then. Fuck me. <laughs> I can already tell how much time they spent putting stamps. This is the deep south. In this game. Every time that molten hot sun pours down on them, don't use that. Oh no, it's the squirrels that will attack me if I go anywhere near them. Fuck off. Why are you singing Humming Amazing Grace? Yeah, why are you Humming Amazing Grace? No one, I, no one asked me either why I know Amazing Grace from him humming it. The streets in New Orleans were a mess, all busted up and undergoing maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is so. I mean, I could maybe go back there and sleep, see what that does. That's the only thing that I can think of doing. It's past time. If not, then I swear to god this game actually passes time on a minute by minute basis. So, what do you think of him? This, we're talking about him. Who knows? Is the skeletal gentleman friend or foe? Or does he merely exist outside the realms of other? Still too early to tell. But it's clear that he'll be the key to uncovering this case's mysteries. That's what my soul tells me. Where's the bloody motel? Oh, I was riding to it. This town sure is peaceful, Zach. Yes, I know. I know. I can't exactly do anything. That's why we're here. To protect this peace. Isn't that right, Zach? I can't do anything. If I actually have to have time to pass, fuck me, I've actually got to go into my switches settings and move ahead 12 hours. Imagine. Imagine if that's what they did with this game. Like, you essentially have to play it sort of semi-legit. Like, at that point, I'd give up. Because that would be stupid. And I can't even go into my room to sleep. Oh no, because it's over here. They could. Wait. Does it say 201? Yeah, it does. Oops. King size. Made in France. Zach, even though the Bureau was paying for this, it's nothing beats getting a good night's sleep. Okay, so yeah, I have to come back here every time. Also, I'm guaranteeing you she's just been waiting outside. Oh, never mind. Hotel feet! Oh no. I may be a poor, rentless man soon.
I may have to do some odd jobs for some money. Is, is this my first time streaming the Switch? Nope. I did it for Deadly Premonition Origins October last year. And I also did Smash Bros, Mario Maker, and Mario Kart. Why? Oh no, because of... Yeah, no, I've done stuff before, but... This is how I wake myself up. Because I would like to do Super Mario Odyssey at some point, but... The problem with Super Mario Odyssey is there's a thousand stars to collect. Which is just pure insanity. Yes. Perfect. Oh, my dear lost lamb. What are you doing there? Oh, this? This is all part of the Lee Clarkson murder investigation. Just tell everyone. Something important, hmm? Oh, yes. Very important. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. That's what everyone calls me. But what should I call you? I am Tyrone Sanders, pastor of the Lucare Evangelical Church. Nice name, Ty. What business does a pastor like yourself have in a place like this? Well, I live over no. across the way there. Do you have an intimate relationship with Mrs. Carpenter? Why? Why in the world would you suggest such a pitiful thing? Because it's late at night and you're out. How could I ever become intimate with one who is so devoid of faith? After she lost her husband, she stopped coming to church. All she does all day is bowl. She even pruned the shrubbery in that pitiful fashion. Yes, truly pitiful. Mm. And did you see that hideous ox of a dog she owns? Pitiful with a capital P. I tried speaking with her, but she shows no intention of changing her ways. Yes, I fear she never lends an ear when the good Lord reaches out to her. Indeed, I pity her from the bottom of my heart. So you've been spying on her out of pity? Spying? I'm merely awaiting the chance to lend her a helping hand. You best be careful, too. This town harbors much more danger than you're aware of. If you ever find yourself in need of salvation, feel free to stop by our church whenever you like. Amen. Our church also functions as a clinic. Someday, you may need our help. Zack, did you hear that? Pitiful. 
try saying that to someone in the city. They'd instantly slap you with slander or defamation charges. You'd be up to your neck in court papers. I doubt I'll tire of this town any time soon. We should consider stopping by that church whenever we get a chance. Near Le Carre of Evangelical Church. Passing time. In this game, time is a flat circle. It always continues to pass. Passing the time may affect certain events and whether or not you can enter certain areas. If you can't wait for a facility to open up, try sleeping in a bed at a hotel, camping outside, or smoking to pass time. Sure. Let's go. Oh, can I upgrade my skateboard? Over five miles traveled, fifty dollars. Who's paying me? Fifty dollars for just moving. Ah, pitiful. Are you lost, little lamb? No, I saw the skateboard. Mm. Hey, Zach, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand, and Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. We just happened to hear news about Lisa's murder while sitting in a bar during our vacation in New Orleans. That certainly wouldn't have happened if we had stayed in D.C. They would have given the case to another special agent, or maybe even to the state, and then we never would have found it. In the end, it would have been shut up in that. Looks like a case of bad timing, Zach. Let's come back later. What time did you open? Monday. 8 a.m. So I select few that swear is a true gaming god, not Kojima. Well, I mean, you know, anyone can believe whatever they want. Dave Hamish has got us the best worst game ever. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not a terrible game though. Like, as a game game, it's not great, but... Zach, how about we grab a bite to eat? Not even I can't. Street on an empty stomach. There's nowhere that's open. Really? He's open 24 hours a day? Like I say, you know, in terms of story and whatever, it's pretty good. Gameplay-wise, I would argue that, but people say that 
I would argue that people will think and say that Deadly Premonition... ...is not a great game because... ...you know, the frame rate, the glitches and all that kind of stuff. Shut up. All busted up and undergoing maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain to cave it all in. There were also a lot of places where large tree roots were pushing up parts of the asphalt on the sidewalk. Those bumps were dangerous, even. Okay. Always the same three lines over and over again. Well, hopefully I can order some food that I'm going to have to go to Betty Boys and then bowl. Mr. Morgan, sir, how many... <laughs> Mr. Morgan, sir. Jolly good, sir. Do give me a tinkle. My restaurant serves only the highest quality Creole cuisine. And yes, that is the same man from downstairs. Which ain't too easy to find in a backwoods town like... Did I hear wrong then? Set me straight, would you, chef? I thought that Cajun food was the norm in Acadiana. Why would you go out of your way to serve Creole food here? When I was a youngin', I trained myself at a famous restaurant, Narlins. Narlins? A famous restaurant? Which does not know incredible. how to pronounce any fucking Was state. it Arnaud's? Antoine's? No, don't tell me, I got it. Brennan's, right? None of those, actually. But that place taught me how to really cook. Go on and try some. Very in was unbelievable. I see you weren't lying about undergoing training at that famous restaurant. Ah, now you just trying to embarrass me, mister. I still appreciate it, though. And you must have undergone some rigorous training in order to gain such refined technique. You put so much care into preparing everything just right. And your manipulation of that low temp flame in order to bring out such a pleasant fragrance, simply perfect. This is true Creole food. You have to tell me now, which famous re <laughs> Come on, chef, we need to know. Ah, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Really? Oh, just a hint now. Fine, well- It's the restaurant that serves the most famous fried chicken in all of Louisiana. Crispy, crunchy, you know what I'm talking about? Bonafide fried chicken. No. Can't say. That mean- Oh yeah! I'll bet they worked you pretty hard. Mm-hmm, you betcha. So that's how you acquired the mental fortitude necessary to cook such amazing food. Oh, my time there taught me just how tough city life really is. Amazing. That's an incredible story, David. You really are a true chef. Both Zach and I have given you our official approval. Now I'll sleep again. Until what, eight in the morning, right? 
To 7.59 since I'm right before. Oh, side mission seven. We always strive to provide our guest with the finest of service, sir. Our humble bucolic ta therefore. Great. Exact. Oh, I can sell them stuff. Oh, coffee. Oh, mint gum. Gets rid of your B.O. That's not how mint gum works. Serving you. Please do. But I need to talk to him because very good fixing please. my serving you. Please do mm. and suck my weenie. Concierge at the beginning of the, the en entrance stroke exit. Well, the question is, do I even bother going back in? With the load times. Oh, fuck it. I'm not going back inside just to talk to him to get a quest order. I'll do it when I go back. This is the deep cell. I feel it every time. Sure, oh. Hot sun pours down on you. Don't use that. Always the same two lines. Either about the shitty roads, the hot sun. Fucking hell, dude. See, I kind of want to open this up just to have a look, but I don't want to break the seal. Sorry for the wait, Patty. I don't. Which is apparently a poster of the map of the town. Which is probably gonna be like that fucking big. Whatever. Is Mrs. Carpenter here? No, she hasn't come in today. 
Everything's going according to plan. It's time to knock down the Ten Maidens, Zack. We were bowling. My lord, y'all are back? Listen up, y'all ain't gonna believe this. What's wrong? Mrs. Carpenter hasn't come in. Oh, I know. For the first time in 10 years, what could it be? I just hoping nothing bad happened to her. She's fine, you have my guarantee. Oh my lord. I reckon if an FBI agent like you is convinced, then I should be too. Yeah, I know, I killed him myself, why? What did I tell you, Patty? Value is a relative thing. We needed to find that figurine, no matter the cost. Yeah, now I can do mission 12. Not until after I order a Sunday. Will it be, honey? <laughs> oh, coming right up. If I can actually equip it, that is. No complaints here. Oh my! It am I? No. Oh, they. It, but root. I just. I. What it be, honey? That would have been like five minutes of just talking about food. Oh. Sometimes it's nice to skip stuff. Oh, here we go. Bowling. You wanted to bowl that bad? They don't have. Yeah, I did. Morgana. No more. Wrong, Patty. I have absolutely no interest in bowling. Tossing a heavy ball at lined up pins? Where's the fun in that? You can't even call this a sport. It's a game for cavemen. Nonsense. Utter nonsense. Then can I throw the ball instead? Absolutely not, Patty. This is part of the investigation. I need to do this myself, no matter how stupid it may be. You're the one who's stupid. Sure well, looks like you're having fun to me. Ooh, what ball do I want? If I have a weightless ball, I mean, technically, the heavier the ball, the easier it'll be to knock the pins down, because if you have a light, small ball, it will go too fast and it'll just knock straight through, but by having a heavier, slower ball... Exactly like that. Oh, ho, ho. looks like I finally earned myself a rival. That was just a stroke of luck, Mrs. Carpenter. Despite how I may seem, I've never been any good at any of the ball based sports that exist here on our planet. Oh no, you can't fool me. I can tell the FBI's giving you very special training. If I gave you a few lessons on top of that, I'm sure you'd be able to go semi-pro. Semi-pro? That's right, that's what I said. Not pro, but semi-pro. Yes, semi-pro. You'd never be able to go pro. You don't have what it takes. Thanks. You could become a semi-pro if you tried really hard, though. Well, I guarantee it. Come back and see me when you feel like giving it a try. I'm sure my husband would forgive me if I let someone like you borrow my lane. Well, we gotta give youngsters a chance to grow. That's what we always say. Yeah, because you just need to dig a grave and jump in it. Go semi-pro? I'd take her words with a grain of salt if I were you. Patricia, I can understand why you'd be envious of my talents, but you don't need to worry. 
You have your own unique talents, just like... You know, like being an annoying person. cat in a JRPG. You shouldn't have to feel inferior every time you look at me. You're unbelievable. You sure you don't need to get your head checked out? It's so strange, Zack. I feel like I'm discovering a new side to myself. By the way, Mr. Special Agent... You said you're investigating the Lease Clarkson incident, yeah? In that case, there's something you should know. That poor girl, Lise, she was a druggie. And she was into the really bad stuff. Red powder. Oh, no wonder the FBI picked you. You already figured out that much. <laughs> well, the reason Lise turned into such a little hoodlum is because of her mother, Galena. I can't imagine why. Mm hmm. A mother only in name. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, she's still nothing more than a child herself. Oh. <laughs> Dressing up in fancy clothes, always out on the town somewhere. Children giving birth to children. If these aren't the end times, well, I don't know what is. Oh, and they were always cooped up in that jazz bar. Galena wouldn't know proper parenting if it hit her in the tush. Zach, the jazz bar. We first heard about it from Patricia. It must be deeply connected with this case and the red powder. It must be San Rouge. Following the Oracle and felling the Ten Maidens sure paid off, didn't it? I mean, it would have just been easier to have asked for this information. Are you all finished here? Yes, Mrs. Carpenter. Thanks to you, I've gotten a new lead. Oh, then how about you mosey on and let me get back to my bowling? I need to bowl my first game of the day or else I'm gonna get rusty. Well, what are you waiting for? Get a move on! Shoo! Shoo! Yay, bowling. Good hag. I assume bowling will increase my health or something. Or potentially increase my accuracy. Did you crash? Or are you loading? Well... No, oh, there we go. When the sun awakens, catch the... This happened to the stream you watched. At the false altar. At the entrance to the other world will reveal itself to you. Zack, it's another oracle. All that just for a bloody being guided talking by a scene. mysterious power. This oracle is a simple one. The false altar. You already know what this is, right? The place where Lise Clarkson's body was first discovered. She was found under a bridge at some sort of altar as if she was being worshipped. That's what Chef David said, right? Yeah, but you, you didn't say which bridge. Game might crash and never load FYI on that tree loading screen. Oh. oh. When the sun awakens, refers to dawn, of course. And the tip of the baby bear's tail is the North Star. At dawn, look straight to the north from where Lisa's body okay, that's was found. Just... On the surface, this oracle may seem tricky and convoluted, but it's still mere child's play. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't worry, I'm just going to impersonate her man, is that all right? No, it isn't, generic white guy. Zack, let's follow the Oracle and head to where Lisa's body was found. I don't know what other world refers to, but I'm sure we'll find out once we get there. Oracle? That's right, Patty. 
This case is a rather complicated one. So Zack and I are following oracles given to us by a skeletal gentleman in order to crack it. It's too late. It's fucking nine o'clock. I would have waited an entire day to fucking do something. Oh! It works! My up and downing works again. Well, it doesn't work again, but it works finally. Get him. Yeah, I know, right? The game's fixed itself. Now I can. Fuck me, now I'm gonna do nothing all day and all night. You bastard. You made me come here at 8 a.m. in the morning just so I have to fucking wait an entire day and do nothing. There, you bastard. How's your day coming along? I want a ball. Oh, Mr. Special Age. After all, you Yes, that's right. Therefore, I'd like to test my medal on this lane. Well, the <laughs> Let's see if I can get strikes on everything. Free play mode, you play a normal game. This mode allows you to freely choose the bowling ball you prefer to use. Carefully select your starting position, ball, angle, pound, curve, so that you can bowl yourself a ton of strikes. Excuse me, hold that one. What about seven pounds? What does seven pounds do? That's exactly why you don't go straight for the middle. I mean, if I just go straight down the middle, I should be fine, right? Suck my dick. Bastard. I need the tick to go on the right side when I bowl because then it sticks that and it'll hit them all. Not that much though. That's not even how that works. You can't have a ball go straight and then it just fucks off. I mean, it's exactly how that works, but... Okay, so double tapping doesn't do shit. Yeah. I thought if I mashed quick enough, if it stayed in the middle, it doesn't. I need to stop when I press the button, go all the way back to press it, and just press the down button. Like that.
mean, this is still livable. If I go here... Way too much. Oh, no it isn't. It's just enough. Oh, go away. If only I actually knew these people. My score on seventy. Oh, a perfect game gives you an oak leaf. Wow, I'm guessing that makes one of the best. By the way, Mrs. Carp, remember the first time I bowled for you and showed? Was there any special reason? The truth is, so and as a result, I meaning I told you my husband. Well. Crime, punishment. Intriguing. I wouldn't. When he was in good health, only once during our infant. Oh, that alligator figurine looked so atrocious. Alligator. Fi oh, honestly. But that was the so I put up with it. Then, when he went up to heaven, I figured I. Fi you threw it. Yes. The more I thought about it, the more I. Re I couldn't believe I. Then. One day, I woke up the figurine, and it was glaring straight. I was so shit right there. So then, who said that? Hey, my it's that. My. Oh dear, what I was go shit. Eternal, but why, Miss? I just wanted to bulk. This is exactly why games like this don't last me long. Because sometimes it's like, do I really want to sit here for like 10 minutes listening to people waffle on about conspiracies and shit? That has nothing to do with the story. Well, no, obviously. Obviously I don't want to sit in here and listen to an old woman talk about her husband dying, giving her a terrible present. That was a T-Rex, she sells it. It's then mysteriously there and then blah 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 blah. Do you mean this loading screen then, Chris? Almost at the four hour mark. Nice. Oh, there it is. And that's exactly why I saved. Oh! Maybe every single combo counts. If you skip something, you might miss a clue. Well, yeah, but... I mean, a fucking uh, side story? No thanks. Lucari, Tiger. Do you read me? Over. Tiger, like, like, I doubt that that's being crashed on a guy. Nice. Yeah, I, I very much doubt that that conversation about the woman and her conspiracy theory has any relevance to any story. This is DC Eagle. I read you loud and clear. Over. Oh, good. Mr. York. I'm sure glad you picked up. There's no point in using code names if he's just going to say my real name. Mr. York, can you hear me? Hey, Mr. York! Oh, oh, oh. Right. Over. DC Eagle to Lucare Tiger. Is something wrong? Over. But Mr. York, I got something I need to tell you ASAP. Just sit tight and listen, okay? Over. Roger Wilco. Go right ahead. Over. I just happened to overhear some of the Clarksons talking on another channel. Apparently, Lisa's mother's been missing since early this morning. I reckon it might be related to the case. 
so I wanted to let you in on it right away. Oh, over. Lisa's mother. You're referring to Galena, the social butterfly? Over. Oh, look at that animation at like 2 FPS. Nice. <laughs> Another special agent slam dunk. So, you already did a little research on her, huh? Now, can I watch them despawn yet? There they go. Yeah, that's right. The one who's gone missing is the younger of the Clarkson sisters. And our town's queen of the night. No one can slip one past me. Because I... Oh. My proverbial hat goes off to your investigative skills, sir. Anywho, Galena used to be an actress. Like I said, Chris, this game is... Face, draws attention it really could have done with another year of development. If you happen to spot her while you're investigating, would you let me know? Oh yeah, over. Wait, hey, Mr. York, what do you say we cut this out, huh? Over this, over that, it all seems kind of overblown, don't you think? Sighs. I reckon we're the only ones listening to this. No need to be so stiff, <laughs> right? Yes, Melvin, I agree. There's no need for us to cling to formalities. Huh, glad to hear it. I ain't never been too good with formalities, you feel me? <laughs> well, Mr. York. If I hear any more news, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, random menacing laugh. Good luck out there. Daddy's such a goofball. Patty, do you think Galena is really as beautiful as people say? I don't know, I guess. Oh, you want a muff dog, do you? Men just seem to lack women like her for some reason. Who's more beautiful? Giant titties. Galena Eat. or your mother? Blue. What? Candy Woods, your mother. Melvin said she was the prettiest girl in town. How should I know? That's a stupid question. Why is it stupid? My mom is sick. Zach, that was a bad move. We stepped right into a private matter without any shoes on. But these things are bound to happen. After all, I'm a special agent of the that? FBI. Oh no, what's being sent to me now? And there isn't an organization out there that's more well-versed in the art of infringing on people's privacy. That's the entirety of my answer to that. been leaked some information of Far Cry 6. It has good graphics apparently. Oh, oh, oh yeah, fuck it, I'll talk to this starting concierge. I, what, what does this game actually expect me to do for 24 hours? I would assume there's a crept on a side quest, but... Sure is peaceful, Zach. Yes, I know. I know what you're about to say. No. Oh. oh, a vehicle. Kill the squirrel. Where did you wrap? And who might you be? I'm Raven, but around here they call me the Speed Witch. <laughs> you're here investigating the lease case, yeah? And instead of a car, you're using a skateboard? For real? You've already become the talk of the town, you know? Anyway, I was just wondering if you needed any help. What's your name? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Okay, Yorkie it is! Just nice getting her back. Testing out a new kind of business right now. 
And I was hoping you'd be down to try it out, Yorkie. What kind of business are we talking about here? Anal. I drive my customers to wherever they want to go. Hmm. And once we get there, they pay me. Oh, you're a now taxi I think about driver. It, I reckon it ain't much different from a taxi. Seems a bit strange to call it a new type of business, then. Only because you haven't heard the details yet. Here, let me explain. I got a feeling that in the future, cell phones are going to get more advanced. From 2005? Are be able to just no. order taxis from their phones whenever they need to get somewhere. Never. So I'm thinking, hey, why don't I just start a company that instantly sends out drivers to take folks from point A to point B? How? I want to make it so that anyone out there can just register on my site as a driver. What, Yahoo.com? normal people, not pros. Then once we get a request, we'll just send out the driver who's closest to the customer. It'll be a hell of a lot more convenient than public transportation and faster than any normal taxi company. I'm positive it'll be a big hit. And I'm gonna call it Wyvern. The logo will be a Y and a V. Cool, yeah? Oh, that's what those balloons are for. Me. But if I hire them all as independent contractors, I reckon it'll work out. See, that means each driver and customer will be bound by their own private agreements. My company will just provide them with a platform to hook up. Squeaky clean, right? Now, here comes the fun part. I want to help you get around while you're in our town, Yorkie. For a fee, of course. Keep an eye out for my balloons. Yeah. Whenever you see one in town, give me a whistle and I'll be there. Why not invite me to use your site then? Why are you out here driving around? I'm still experimenting with this business model. My site isn't open yet, and I'm still trying to figure out what sort of fees will work best. So I decided to go find myself a customer to get a feel for how things will really go. Well, wanna ride? Oh, really? Zach, that was quite the spiel, wasn't it? This seems like little more than a scheme to make some pocket change from carpooling. And what's new about that? <laughs> Although it will be a bit hard for us to keep investigating here for days with nothing but a skateboard. Oh, really? What do you think? Should we accept her offer? Nope. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come on, get in, get in. Oh, and those signals just indicate. Also, a load screen just to quite literally just go down the road 10 seconds. What are you loading? Oh, I'm guessing it's not loading the car, that's what it is doing. Yeah, she went from just over there where that hotel is to here. Because now I've got to go all the way sodding back again. Taxi service is meant to take you where you want to go. I, I wanted to go here. This is the deep south. Shut up. Every time that bolted. In every time. Oh, me. Hey, bellboy, what's this balloon doing here? Oh, hey there, boss. <laughs> that balloon belongs to the transportation service. <laughs> the transportation service? Zach, we haven't seen a single taxi since we got to this town, have we? Um, no. No, we haven't. Well, of course not. You won't find a single limo or taxi driving around this town. What does the balloon call, then? That'd be Wyvern. Wyvern? 
that pushy entrepreneur? <laughs> right on the money, boss. Why are you helping her out? Me? Oh, I'm just in it for the kickback, boss. <laughs> so calling her from here costs more than calling her from somewhere else? Exactamundo. Although there are certain places that you can only get to from here. I see. Zack, it looks like we've run into yet another unique... What are you loading? In before, this is loading the map. Have you? Will you? Who knows? Let's find out. Probably. Oh no. Howdy, Yorkie. You've just been over this. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, get it. Thanks for calling me. I didn't. Why, Vern? Goodbye now. By the way, Patty, what do you usually do when you're at home? Is this an interrogation? Oh, no. I just figured that since we're working together now, it'd be a good idea to learn a little more about you. Should an adult male like you really be asking a little girl this kind of question? Yes, because I, I want to stick my PP in you. What do you think? The news once. There's a time and a place for everything. You know exactly who I am, and I've also introduced myself to your father. Well, Besides, that means I can marry you. who said you wanted to come with me. I was just kidding, jeez. You're an FBI special agent. Why would I ever need to worry? You shouldn't automatically trust someone just because they're an FBI special agent. One's profession and one's personality are completely separate things. For example, one special agent may fall spiritually in love with a genius criminal who enjoys the taste of human flesh. That's Hannibal. You pulled that straight out of a movie. Just because it's a film doesn't mean it isn't deeply Boilers. rooted in reality. You can't judge people solely based on where they... I haven't watched that movie yet. Let me talk to the goddamn concierge so he can fix my goddamn shower. I know the concierge, fuck me, is the twat who works over there. Zach, here's another perfect symbol of the human condition. And it's a bu- I've seen- but yet it was just talk- let's- Very good, please. I want to talk to you. Serving you, please do. Whether it's a restaurant or a hotel, the key to I'm sure you feel the same now. This it might even trump the one. Remember, the art piece on display in there utilized the natural. Of human ribs, lovely. Um, this is not a toilet. Well, 
A man found a murderer. Yep, man found the murderer. It's him. Boom, what the fuck do I even want to do? Do anything. I hate to. Seven more days for what? Oh yeah, that shitty ass game. Ghost of oh. Wake up at six. What the fuck all to do? But no, I've already pre-ordered it when I was in game today, so I'll pick that up next week and then play it. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, and I'm slowly dying. That's what I'm you can't get to make me. Oh, so have you been then, Tiff? What have you been up to? Also, if you don't like games that run at 3 FPS, look away now. Thanks. Now Nice. What, you watch me then? Or... Oh no, that would put you to sleep, never mind. And it would probably dry you up faster than the Sahara Desert would. Just... Hmm. I was going to touch myself, but... Now I just want to kill myself. In before that's actually true. Yep. You know, you're just... Nope, it's not going to wake up. Nope, nothing. Absolutely. Sand is sand. How have you created sand? Wait, <laughs> wait. Oh no, I only pre order just because the fuck it, why not? Like, I don't pre order to go, oh my god, I want the game! Like, I just pre order because, you know, whatever. And sometimes you get some free goodies, like, pre ordering this got me a giant map that I have yet to open of this game. Yes, I think I see the connection. Cheerful, wise. And a notepad. I can't wait to use it IRL. Considering La Cara, Louisiana doesn't exist. But no, this isn't a notepad, it's a graph pad. Because it's graph paper. I don't even know if I can even show that off, but... Yeah, no, I can't. But yeah, no, it's graph paper. But yeah, this will never be used. It won't. Just like that map will never come out of its um, plastic casing.
give you the notepad? No. My notepad. <laughs> no, because like I said, you just get it free for pre-ordering this game. Um, that's you sobbing. Oh, so you somehow hacked my game. This is how it has to be. Yeah, and that's my response. <laughs> Why did the perpetrator decide to enshrine Lisa's body here? Yeah, no. The map is... Because I haven't opened this and I may as bloody well. Ooh. Ooh, it's not paper. Technically. At least not shitty paper, anyway. That's the map. There you go. That's the entirety of the map. Which doesn't really do anything, because it's just a map. It doesn't. Like, it just lists everything that the main in-game map has anyway. Looks terrible. What, the map? Don't blame me. Blame the bloody game for having that map. It smells very musty. You'd rather have a door map? Say map! Swiper! No swiping! But yeah, door of the explorer was stupid. Because all it is is say map! Hmm. Go on, say map! Remember this, Zach? You said map! Stone skipping. So we did for some reason I could never beat you. But I feel like I've got what it takes to win now. What do you say? Shall we take a trip down memory lane? No, you're meant to look north. In order to start stone skipping, you'll need to select a stone. Each stone has its own unique properties. After tossing a stone, you... Press A at the right timing to increase the distance it flies. Each stone skipping point has its own unique course. Baton Rouge. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes, I got a lollipop. Not bad, Zach. That was just as fun as when we were kids. <laughs> I skipped it once, dickhead. <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> I skipped it once and he went, that was pretty good. No wonder the word Mississippi means father of waters. Does it? It has the power to carry boats down the tiniest of tributaries. It's one of the prime symbols of America's majesty and the vitality of the human race. Now about that boat. What sort of cargo would give it such a deep draft? What else do you see, Zack? Um. I saw it clearly, if only for a second. The Dragonfly Crest. This town never wants to stop reminding us about the Clarksons. Power! <laughs> oh, and then let's skip stones. Let's see if I can get 1,100. I have no idea how the fuck you meant to do this. Oh, total score. Damn 
Okay, I've unlocked sunscreen. Damn it. Acquired root beer. Well, considering this costs no money, I may as well get free items, right? Since it's total score, not. Capitano Fragment, look. Low quality, I assume. Like I said, measures just bloody get them all done, right? Oh, 11 skips, nice. Oh, they're, oh. That actually goes for a lot of points. one bad bounce and then all of a sudden it's over. Why do I need like 5,000? My next one? I don't care about your damn emote. My emote's better. Whose other emote are you using? Oh, some shitty crying emote. See, I'm a real man, I don't need a crying emote, I just need an emote that can service as both a hello and a goodbye. Then again, I can't really say anything considering I have... Where is it?
mười nữa rồi muốn I'm almost at 5,000 fucking mills, I'll do it. Isn't that 5,000? Five thousand two hundred, one thousand two, twelve thousand. Sorry. Oh, fuck off. No. No. Hey Zach, do you remember the yeah, oracle? Yeah, When the sun awakens, catch the tip of the baby bear's tail at the false altar. Also, yes, that is a white guy doing an African accent. To the other world will reveal itself to you. In other words, we need to go to where Lise was found and look north at dawn. I wonder what we'll see. You mean the eerie floating skull? It's a skull, Zack. As clear as day. That's the spot. The barrier between our world and the other world. One might call it a singularity. Yay. Twenty dollars! I'll take twenty dollars for looking at water. What do you say we go inspect that cabin? Why did you leave me behind? You're not supposed to investigate without me. Go away, Morgana. Or Mona, whatever you want to be called. I'm sorry, Patty. You just missed a special moment. What moment? The sugarcane plantation? So what? You can't see it? All I see is the Clarkson's plantation and that gross silo. There you have it, Zach. Patty, Zach and I will take it from here. In the meantime, you need to head home and wait for us. Wait at home? Alone? Yes, but only for a while. Once I make some progress, I'll contact you again. Hey, hold on! Also, would you mind telling Melvin that I'm heading to the sugarcane plantation? I'm sure we'll need his help later. Whoa, Agent York! Wait! You're really gonna leave a little girl like me here all alone? Yep. Act like an adult for once in your life! Fuck you. I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world? Yeah, I'm trying to protect you from yourself. You promised! Protect me! I already wanted that cat to die. I don't want you to die as well. I also want you to die, Shudson. You made it this far alone, didn't you? I wasn't sticking a tongue out. That was... the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. Yeehaw, cowboy. Look, Zach. We're about to encounter a new character. Oh, damn it. I know I saw her go inside. But it's empty. The hell's going on here? 
You won't be able to find the other world. What the? Who in the hell are you? And what are you doing on our plantation? I'd like I'm to going to try and fork my sister. I'm I want some advice. Hey, shut up. This ain't got nothing to do with you. I see. Well, if you don't want to tell me, then I have no choice but to guess. You just said this is our plantation. I assume that means you're a member of the Clarkson family. And you're here looking for someone. If there's a search being conducted on Clarkson property, it must be a search for Galena Clarkson, who's gone missing. Judging from the way you speak, your age, and most of all the color of your eyes, you must be Danny Clarkson, the father of the victim, Galena's husband, and the manager of the cold storage warehouse. Nice to meet you. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I'm here investigating the Lee Clarkson case. Oh, and just call me York. That's what everyone's always called me. <laughs> you think I give a shit? You better watch your mouth or I'm liable to whoop your goddamn ass! Oh. Your daughter was taken from you and now your wife has gone missing. No words can describe what you're going through. I imagine you're doing everything you can, searching every last nook and cranny all over town. But, Danny, listen to me. It won't get you anywhere. No matter how hard you search, you'll never find them. What the fuck is with you? You want to throw down with a Clarkson? Absolutely not. I simply wish to solve Absolutely. this case. Then hurry up and investigate, goddammit! I am. That's why I'm here. The Oracle told me there's something in this spot. Oracle? That's right. Zack and I are following oracles given to us by a skeletal gentleman. If you wish to find the person who killed your daughter, you should cooperate. I imagine that not even the Clarksons want to start a feud with a federal power. I've had enough of your bullshit. Why is everyone in their mother been tasting in my ear today, huh? Shit! Does this mean you're ready to cooperate? May I enter the building? Do whatever you want. If you think you can mess with the Clarksons, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Zack, it appears that the Clarksons have no idea where Galena is either. And judging from Danny's demeanor, the family must be in the midst of their own complications. This case may require more work than we think. Zach genre unique into this family, didn't he? Yet he's acting like he's a full-blooded Clarkson. I'm surprised, really. That was the most unexpected aspect of our encounter. After all, he's only the son-in-law. What do you think, Zach? I wasn't listening. Sorry. Far Cry 6 news. Which, whatever. You'll just be more cookie cutter bullshit. One other thing that I will also do. Oh, there's an actual thing as well. Is this when the gameplay will actually fucking start? Like, actual shooting people and punching people after four and a half hours? Nice. Give me a minute. Oh, I can't spell.
No, I want an emote. Emotes are funny. There we go. Those emotes are funny. Oh, toolbox. I didn't know you could get me in there. Um, what do I have on me? I have a crap ton of stuff. Oh yeah, sunscreen. Put the bloody sunscreen away. I should be fine with it. Well, now we can actually see what this game has to offer it in terms of content. In melee combat and stuff. This is it, Zack. One thing I do want to do. Oh my god. A deadly premonition. You know, for some reason, I'm getting butterflies. How about you? No, I don't want side quests. Actually, I do want side quests. We saw this other world for ourselves. My brain automatically always goes towards. I don't want that tree. No, I do want side quests. But these were all. St I mean, the game's only out today, so there's not going to be anything. I just want to. I just want to fix my goddamn shower so I don't smell. Because of whatever that might entail in terms of bad things in the town. Oh, bloody fix it. I'll talk to him about it. Unless he's roaming around at certain points, at the, certain times of day. Like, say, midday, he might be the concierge. Then I can talk to him about it, but otherwise, I mean, come on, you should have an option to talk when you summon him. Just makes it easier rather than having to wait around all day. Make more sense. Zach, the countryside is always so entertaining. It has far more stimuli to offer than the big city. Yep, this is where the gameplay boots in, I suppose. Mr. Alligator, not sure how much help you'll be in this situation, but I guess you're better than nothing. What? What the? Zach, I don't even need to say it, do I? This is right out of that movie. Which one? Videodrome, 1982, mm. directed by David Cronenberg. At the time, it was seen as a hard movie to digest for normal moviegoers, but now it's become a cult classic. I always just saw it as another weird Canadian movie, but this changes everything. My arm and my gun have become one. Now I can really understand what Max was going through. Hold on the fire button to charge the psycho gun. Aim it toward an enemy to lock on and release the, f the fire button to fire a homing bullet. The faster your firing speed, the faster your gun will lock on. Working on multiple points at once is also possible. Taking damage will cancel your lock on. Noted. How do I reload? Hey. I don't know how you reload an arm gun, but whatever. Those movies from the 80s were all predicting the future. Life's simpler than what philosophers make. Two shots. Fuck me, Jesus Christ. 
Oh, that wasn't even a fucking jump scare as well. Fuck me. That happens every time. I have to admit. Like, jump scares will never get me. You give me a random enemy hiding around a corner that doesn't even move. That, that will always get me. I can already tell if Dark Shadow finds that section. He's going to go, wow, what a pussy. I mean, he's not going to be wrong, but... Oh, go away. I want to turn that off. No. I suppose that's why there's lock on in this. Because aiming is a little not good. It's alright. I mean, it's console grade, low console grade aiming, but. I mean, at least I'm being paid money for headshots. Hmm. Zack, I sense something here. You sent something. It's in my pee pee. Yeah, no, again, more Far Cry 6 stuff. Um, fuck. I mean, I kind of want to, but apparently Far Cry 6 might come out was very next year. Which, again, this is all just bullshit and it's speculation, but it's Ubisoft, so it's probably right. Um, obviously, if I do. I mean, I would be surprised if I even bought a PS5 day exactly one, which I are. won't. But if I do have a PS5, I want to test the capabilities of its PS4 to PS5 counterparts. So I would buy the game on PS4 and see what the PS5 upgrades are. To see if it's ever worth just buying a PS4 version, which it should be anyway, but... And then maybe looking into a PS5 copy, if that would even be possible. Just to see if there would be any differences, but the problem is that would be spending money on shit that you won't need. But I would at least like to test increased performances. I know big companies and whatever will already show that off, but I want to see it firsthand. That's even if I got- Hello, naked body! Oh, there's boob. We'll just black up them, which is as per usual. Yeah. 
Zack, there's a tall woman here. Very stylish. She'd stick out like a sore thumb in this town. Is she watching the murder? No. She's clearly more than an innocent spectator. She must be deeply entwined with this case. What if I see a woman with a bowl haircut? More. More. I want more. Okay, sweetie. We're gonna play a fun game now. I love games. <laughs> I'm guessing play. she's extremely high. Yes, I'll give you exactly what you want. Something real special. And this is her mother, right? You'll be able hmm. to fly much higher now. <laughs> I'm happy. So happy. Yeah. I'm your mama. I know exactly what you want. Red powder. This must be Saint Rouge. But for some reason, it looks more vibrant than all the specimens we've gathered so far. Wow, it's amazing. I can feel it. I'm getting prettier. Yeah, you are. Oh no, See, he's here. I made Damn it. Just for you. I, I didn't jump scare earlier, by the way. Like five minutes ago. I I I I I I I I didn't turn a corner. Random enemy just standing there, not even jumping at me. Just stood there waiting for me. I, I didn't turn that corner and shit myself. No. Sensations take over, Lise. But yeah, do I think it's any good? Well, because the frame rate is quite literally like 3 FPS. You won't feel kind of. anything at all. Buttery smooth 3 FPS. I mean, just look at this damn frame rate. <laughs> I mean, so far, I mean, I've been playing for almost five hours. And the first hour of the game was you playing as a woman interrogating Francis Zach Morgan when he's older in his like 40s or 50s about this case so that was an hour of nothing um, and I'm now five hours in and this is the first implementation of combat with the shooting and stuff oh so, yeah gameplay wise Zach shooting is all right <laughs> Yeah, shooting's all right. Must have been dismembered while she was still alive. By her mother. Holding the axe. Flashy clothes. Beautiful face. Have I pushed the little girl and got fined yet? Sadly, no. And also, the voice actress for the little girl is none other than one Mona Stroke Morgana from Persona Five. Look, Zach. She's crying. It's the polar. You'd never guess who told me that. Galena is brandishing an axe while tears stream. Yeah, I don't know the voice actress's name, but yeah, her. On in her head. His Black Blazer was here. He heard the little girl talk for like five minutes, and then he went, "Oh, that's who that is." And then I went, "Who?" And he, then he fucking emoted with bloody um Mona, didn't he? Bastard. Okay, let's get started. This is gonna be so. Oh, and also, if you want underboob. There's a small amount of underboob right there on a 16 year old girl. Um, it's Jap Zach, Japanese, Mrs. so it's legal. Were severed while she was still alive. But yeah, she's 16, so because we're over the age of 18, we are now pedophiles. Um, legal in the UK, too. Well, I mean, it's legal. It's legal as long as you get your parents' she's permission. She must From the age of 18, you can do whatever you want. And considering she's a drug addict, she'd probably jump on top of anyone anyway. At least it shouldn't be. And look, Zack. Oh, a tramp stamp. Another dragonfly. The tattoo is just to the side of her navel. <gasps> wow, he actually called it a navel and not a belly button. She's carried the mark of a Clarkson with her, wherever she went. I'll give him that.
Let me just close my eyes. I'm done. Lise, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Really? No. Yay! <laughs> I'm a little dolly. Oh no. I'm a little dolly. Well, that's why you're going to be encased in ice. That's it, Lise. It'll all start from you. Now you'll never die. You'll be eternal. Just wait for me, Lise. I'll be with you soon. I'll always be what with you. What is it? You. Switching all these resurgences of devs like Suda. <laughs> Sweary did this. But I know what you mean. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. If you don't chop her head off, I'll fucking do it. Thank you. Oh, twenty dollars for not doing anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, Sweary still technically had nothing to do with this because it wasn't directed by him. It wasn't. I don't think it was. I don't remember who directed this because I wasn't reading the names, but he wasn't the first name on the list. So. Lise Clarkson was murdered here. He most likely is more of a. So you made the first game. Um, we kind of don't want to fuck up the sequel. I'm still gonna make it, but we would like your input, probably. After she died, you can just kill DP1's profile and get the clues, bridge. get a fuzzy crime scene reenactment. Yeah, I know, true, but the the only downside I have with DP1's um, profiling is whenever you pick up an item, it's always chuk, 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 and then you watch this really fuzzy thing. So by, by the time I played it a couple of times, I just skipped it all the fucking time until you collected them all and you could see the whole sequence of events. Because it was just frustrating that you had like six pieces of evidence and it would always skip through all the crap and then once you get them all it would show you the sequence of events. Why did the I just skipped it. The need to move her? It was pointless for me. Where it was definitely the writer for the sequel at least. Bodies oh, okay. are usually only moved. But like I, said, I know he definitely isn't the director. I know that. But this is different. Lisa's body was enshrined. Which could be a good or a bad thing. Shown off to someone. You know, it's like imagine, say, Kojima writing Death Stranding, but having a director the ritual having it acted and done out and slightly rewritten every now and then. A monstrous but, giant. I mean, I trust Sweary in some ways to woman. make something, although I don't really know the guy besides Deadly Premonition 1. In some ways, I suppose I trust him in a way to make something over Kojima, but again, there was nothing wrong with Death Stranding. I liked the story, and everything was done very well. It's just but Zach, this is exactly the name the Kojima we is the FBI problem. Agents are here to solve. Isn't that right? Yeah, so does this game take place before um, Deadly Premonition 1, then? Because I, I don't remember... Because like, the only reason why I'm saying that is because one, he's talking to Zack, two, he doesn't have white hair, three, his eyes aren't changed yet. I'm assuming this is a prequel, but... I mean, this is a director, so he's at least a co-director, and yeah, he's both a prequel and a sequel. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a prequel in terms of the modern-day stuff when you're being interrogated as an old guy, but then, obviously, it's a pre sorry, prequel for this and then sequel for when you're being interrogated. I mean, I already know it's the bold guy who's helping the woman interrogate you. It's too obvious, the guy's been watching me for years, and yet the murders haven't even been properly... Mr. Red Trees and shit. Oh, you didn't die? Bullshit. Also, get fucked, Devil May Cry. trees and shit. Yeah, I know, so... Yeah, you get paid $1.30 for every headshot. Missing the- I don't wanna die! 
Yeah, because Francis York Morgan is a mass murderer. He is. $22 for getting multi-kill. Give me more of that, please. I want more multi-kill bonuses. It's free money. Yeah, there's also a charge-up shot in this, so you can charge multiple enemies at once. Um, which is nice, I suppose. If you're ever in a scenario with needing to do that. Oh, and also, this game, if I can show it off. Yeah, when I began this game earlier, this would never work. It would never work. You had to hold it down, wait like three seconds, then it would zoom all the way to the bottom. But randomly, after four hours of playing, it fixed itself. So... And I believe also the developers are taking... Yeah, like that, so you can take out more guys. But I believe the developers are taking recommendations for fixes on Twitter and stuff. I believe. So if people are playing this net in the... We're basically beta testing this. We are... Like, I know the frame rate's abysmal out in the main world, but I can deal with that, you know? It's just like exploration. But having the menu system sometimes not work, or having the game crash during load screens and whatever, like, that kind of shit needs to be fixed. How was that a sharpshooter bonus? Which is apparently in the works. Yeah, like I say, so I believe the developers are taking recommendations on Twitter. Are they speaking in German? I don't know, no fucking clue. I mean, I don't speak German, so I couldn't tell you. I mean, to me, it just sounds like they're just screaming random words. Secret. Yeah. Oh, and also they spoiled the story of um, The Shining in this. Not The Shining, sorry. Um, Hannibal. They, they spoiled the story of that in this. And I've never seen that movie. Bastard. Looks like you're shooting a knockoff persona. Yeah, I know. Hannibal or Silence of the Lambs? Well, Silence of the Lambs, but I just said Hannibal because I'm an idiot who doesn't know the difference. No, because now I either misheard him. Okay, I can't shoot anymore. I can no longer shoot. Yeah, this game is really needed. Yeah, none of my buttons work. I can't sprint. I can't. And I can't punch either. I am now soft locked. Oh, oh, yeah, that's not pause. Oh. Oh, there we go. I mean, that wasn't even pausing. That was just opening up the bloody quest menu. I, I, yeah. You said pause. My brain went to pause, which is obviously the, you know, like say, we're still beta testing this game. We are. 
Like, for no particular reason, I open a door and the game essentially locks me out because it still thinks I'm holding the A button opening a door in a menu. So that's why, obviously, it's not going to shoot guns and shit. But obviously, by opening up my menu, that has apparently broken that sequence of events. Oh, and also, if you... Another thing, and I don't know why the fuck they did this. Again, stupid brain things that you should think should be basic things. If I save on the top slot, it goes to the bottom. So, you save on the top slot, does not save top slot. Top slot then goes down to the bottom. So, I've accidentally saved twice. Because I thought the game broke it or something so then I saved again and it moved it to the bottom like I say there is some like genuinely this game could have used another year of development and I'm not kidding it could have used another year of development to fix all the tiny little bugs and stuff and also the janky animations which I mean janky animations I will take but it definitely could have used minimum at least another two months to fix at least the open world frame rate and the odd bugs and stuff. I guess there's a product publisher shit out nothing lost since Rising Star publishing No More Heroes 3. Yep. Which, I mean, I don't know if I care or not. I mean, obviously, I've, I've never beaten No More Heroes and I own No More Heroes 2, so. You know. But yeah, I mean... Like I say, like the, the game hasn't really done anything that's beyond normal day one patches anyway. But some things, like as you just saw, the whole... Oh, you want to shoot your gun, do you? No. Like, that kind of stuff. In some ways, I can't blame the developer for potentially not finding that. Because if it never happens, you can't fix it. But, yeah. Tree feeders, Kojima. Did it. I really did it. Oh, this is the mother. I completed the first. Oh, and also I have a finger gun, and he doesn't go bang, 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 pow, 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 bang, bang. Yeah. The red one's plan will begin. Zach, this case is going to be a labyrinth. I certainly didn't. And also, his arm is a reference to a Honestly, 1980s movie friends. because. I'm not just going to stand here and die. Why the hell not? What do you think? Should we read off her rights? You have the right to remain dead. The red one's turn. The red one's oh, and also ignore the blocky pixels making up the model. Like, that ha that that's everywhere as well. Like, there's no sort of smoothing, like, there's no anti-aliasing or... They've added minus 10 anti-aliasing in this game, and I don't know how they've done that. It's amazing for a Switch game. Well, I mean... Again, the problem is, because this game is being built for the ground up for the Switch, I don't know how they have that bad frame rate, or the blocky textures, or like really low or non-enabled anti-aliasing with jaggies, or people appearing 10 feet away from you and then disappearing at 11 feet. That like you'd think building a game around one console, you could easily circumvent these problems. But whatever. Oh, headshot. All right, fuck off. Also, this guy doesn't shoot at all. Is this really the entire boss fight? 
Like, really? <laughs> I fought those things for no reason. Wow. No comment on that one. You're really pissing me off. I'm invincible now. Wait. Holy red seeds protect me. She has the upside down trident I... thing. What Maybe. You... No, can't be. Which is the can't tree, is it not? Our plan? You can't stop us now. We already made our sacrifice. You don't know how much we sacrificed. If you say sacrifice once more. Tears of blood we cried. All for the red one's plan. <laughs> we so far. The Thank God so far. Gave me the but in the, the end, end it doesn't I'm even not matter. not gonna let you stop me here! What up? <laughs> He's not gonna go, is she? Oh no, it's Tales of Berseria. Oh, it is actually Tales of Berseria as well. <laughs> Rip that game off whilst we're at it. Titties. Galena, is this your true form? Gosh, Hollywood would have been all over you. Although you probably would have been typecast as a gross monster. The kind that heroes always kill. We going to make a new world and no one's going to stop us Well, she's almost at half health already. The tenders! I believe there's supposed to be a dodge button, which is apparently a R. Which is why I was trying to mash it. But it just runs, it doesn't. Oh, there's gonna be multiples of them, isn't there? Impossible. This is impossible. Yep, trees back again. Uh, before I leave, did she drop anything? Oh, sparkling. Oh, first aid kit. I guess I can use my detective vision. Oh, rubber bullets. You crash on me now. I'm going to be very upset. Well, 
Oh, found her. It's Mrs. Clarkson. This. Oh. Our new world, my Lise, my sweet little Dolly. Galena Clarkson, you are now under arrest on suspicion this of the murder real. of Lise Clarkson and the illegal disposal of her corpse. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. <sighs> That's enough, Zack. She can't hear us anymore. Zach, pardon my language, but this case can go fuck itself. <gasps> he did a sweary word. Naughty. You come back and there's an F-bomb. I know, right? Naughty. Did he ever swear in the first game? He didn't, did he? I guess I don't remember him ever. I owe you one, Mr. York. I'm awful sorry you had to get all caught up in our town's dirty laundry. Oh, look, it's the bastard's father. I didn't expect you to catch the criminal this soon, though. You never fail to impress me. Come on, CLG. Let's head back to the office. Mr. York and I both got a lot of cleanup work to take care of. No, it's a of cool liner or something like No, George, that's not a mark of power. It's child abuse. Yeah. <sighs> now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna tell the Clarksons. That's the problem. Melvin, this investigation has only just begun. What? But we got the killer. This case is much more complicated than it seems. You mean you're gonna keep searching the town? Of course. At the moment, I'm after a tall, stylish woman. Does that ring any bells? Stylish? <sighs> It's his wife. What's they got to do with it? His wife is the one that's doing it. Zach and I saw her with our own eyes. We need to find her, I'm positive. You're probably talking about Professor R. Professor R? From the jazz bar? Yeah. I mean, she's the only person in town you could call stylish. There's always women in these cases. Wait a minute. She's tall, too. But... What is it, Melvin? He's gonna get that skull from the Catwoman wannabe. Uh... Wait, what? Well... Um... Well? Oh. Out with it. You mean the one that goes across his face? Don't let your ten-year-old daughter upstage you here, Sheriff. You're looking for a stylish woman, right? Yes, we've established that. Then I think you're barking up the wrong tree with Professor R. She isn't exactly a normal woman. If you catch my dude, I hear you loud and clear. Melvin, you're careless in every sense of the word, but I believe you operate on the side of good in most cases. With that in mind, I'm disappointed to see that you carry some prejudice with you. Uh, but I, uh. Is she the type to forbid customers from entering her jazz bar due to the color of their skin? Probably. No, she ain't like that. Well then, case closed. Melvin, I think we should call it a day. I'm going to head back to my hotel and get some sleep. I also need to prepare a report to send back to the Bureau. Patty, thank you very much for assisting me in my investigation. I'll be counting on you again tomorrow. No. I just helped an FBI agent. Oh, you did Morgana. Oh, and oh. Melvin, one more thing. You needn't worry about what to tell the Clarksons. I'm sure they already know that Galena's been arrested. After all, this is Lucare. I don't know, has the frame rate fixed itself yet? Oh god no. God no. Oh! But no, we're about to go outside again, so 
You've come at the perfect opportunity to see me shit myself. Yeah, though, Daniel, I mean, with what you sent me in Discord, it's, it's interesting, but... I just want to know what the difference is between PS4 versions and PS5 versions, though. <coughs> I guarantee you nothing. Guarantee you nothing. Because that would be the same thing as, like, getting the PC version and turning it from, say, Ultra to High. That's all it's going to be. Well, going from High to Ultra, I should say. Or at least, maybe... Medium 1080p to high 1440, upscaled to 4K. But we'll find out eventually. Frame right. Hey Zach, no nothing. Just felt like saying that. You like the frame rate? Hey? You like it? Woo! Zach, you're a coffee person, right? No <laughs> Yes, I'm completely with you on that one. I mean, this looks normal to me. This looks fine. I mean, this genuinely looks fine to me. Like, like I see the terrible frame rate, but my brain goes, eh. Again, if I can beat Tomb Raider at like 15 FPS, I can play this at three. But no, in all honesty, that frame rate is probably like eight to ten at best. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah. Zach, let's go over our progress. Just part of the charm, a casual filter, you see. Yeah, exactly. You know? Got a complicated like, you could have the best hands. game in the universe and the best story ever told, but Daniel would never play it because the frame rate is 10 FPS. So I get to enjoy my games, fantastic, my, my fantastic, amazing games, whereas people will go, why is that not 200 FPS 8K? Especially as far as the Clarkson's relationships go. Like right now, the frame rate's fine. It's a solid 15. Understanding them on you know, it's like it's like almost double the eight frames we was getting outside. What's your what's your problem? That's the one thing I'm sure of. Very undeterred, viable choice for difficulty by the devs. Truly visionaries. I know, right? Can you beat a boss at one FPS? Oh well, yeah, because everything's happening at one frame. And also, considering this is also a console shooter, that's another thing that would stop Daniel from playing this. 8 FPS, Zach, console shooting, who are closest to the out. Victim. Lise Clarkson, the victim, is the granddaughter of the current head of the Clarkson family. Her mother is Galena, an ex-actress, and Lise clearly inherited her beauty. Except for her eyes, that is. Lise's eye color matches that of her father's. She's a dude. Do you remember who Lise Clarkson's father is? No. Danny Clarkson? That's right. Lise's father is Danny Clarkson. His real name is Daniel E. Clarkson. You're gonna give me his full name of from Danny to Daniel, but you give me E? He's from Florida. And oh, Florida. CEO of a talent agency. Danny struck the hard Probably what you have where he successfully met. became a member of the esteemed Clarkson family. Despite being the son-in-law, he acts like he was born a Clarkson. But he's still just the son-in-law. Next comes what happened to Lise. Oh yeah, and also the man is ten foot tall. 
by the way, he's genuinely come to the conclusion that the person we're looking for is 10 foot, has inhuman strength. So we're looking for the Hulk. That's who we're looking for currently. According to Alexis, or the Iron Giant, the man was we don't know yet. As an oak tree. Or because some lady said he was like an oak tree. No, no, no. It's because when you find, when you go to the um, ice place where her body was left, because there's no morgue in this town, you see footprints that are 16 inches, and the light hanging, the light fixture that's hanging from the ceiling has fingerprints that come down from it, not reaching up to it. That's how he's come to the conclusion that the person we're looking for is 10 foot tall and can carry a dead body straight up without dragging it along the floor. That's how he's come across this. I believe that's the same 10 foot tall giant. So he's on red tree steroids then. The yep. That's who we're looking for. We're looking for the Hulk. Now what did this man do to Lise prior to her murder? Um, I wasn't. Doctor. Yes, that's it, Zack. Because we stole the chocolate Sunday. The man as tall as an oak tree. Follows. Yeah, no. Um, basically, the little girl who we're with, we stole her chocolate Sunday because we signed a contract that I would protect her from all the villainous things in the world. And because chocolate Sunday is caked in sugar, he wanted to protect her from diabetes. <laughs> Despite his towering stature, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I can't make this shit up. I really can't. Perhaps he was merely biding his time and planned to kidnap her from the very start. So, you know. If that's the case, there should have been some evidence left at the scene of the crime. Hmm. Zack, we're still missing some puzzle pieces. So, you know. Speaking of the scene of the crime, I did some profiling in the plantation's control room. Oh boy. The truth it revealed to us was nauseating and horrific. But we need to touch upon it if we wish to proceed. Isn't that right, Zach? Who actually murdered Lise Clarkson? Her mother. Yes, that's right. This is basically just trying to see was you paying attention playing this game instead of. Hmm? While she was dreaming about some bizarre new world. This is by far the vilest and ugliest crime we've ever seen. Wait, wait, wait until you get to the next game. It's even more complicated. Remember, not a single sacrificial human. You're gonna have to kill a cross dresser. Ever proven and documented in all of American history. The real world is far more complex than what we see in films and video games. You're traveling through interdimensional portals and killing people that manifest themselves as women with giant claw hands or as fetuses. And sacrificing a human life for something else is no easy task. In conclusion, Zach, through our investigation, we found one character who sticks out more than anyone else. You know exactly who I'm thinking about, don't you? We'll need to have a word with her in the near future. Who's the stylish woman we saw during the oh. profile? Professor P. Oh, Professor R. Really? I, I mean, I only said P because I thought it was P. But really, which one do I pick? Do I pick Professor R? Professor R? Or Professor R? I'm inclined to go with Professor R myself. Um, I mean, it can't be Professor R. And it's definitely not Professor R. It's not. Professor R. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hey, Tom. How was Death Stranding? Good game. Yet, I enjoyed it. But she's deeply intertwined. Solid game. Case. Way better than The Last of Us. Let's wait for the skeletal gentleman to guide us to her with an oracle. Well, Zach, what do you think? Isn't the Oh, and also, um, Dark Shadow. Um, the vo guy who voice acts, um, Morgan is a racist. Because there's a black voodoo guy who talks to us every now and then. And he... He, York Morgan, the white guy who voices York Morgan, repeats what the black guy says in his thick accent. Like, you need to go here and talk about this, and it's, oh my god. R who signed this off? The people here are just as warm as the weather. Idiot. Idiot Kajima's biggest fan. It's Kojima. Idiot. <laughs> Might be nice to move down here after I retire. What? 
Still too early to talk about that? It's Kojima. Get it right. You may be right. After all, yeah, no, I mean, it's a good game. This case has only just begun. The story was pretty good. Oh, I got $10. Thanks, game. We don't care about idiot game devs. I mean, neither do I. But the game itself is a good game. If you have a PS4 or PC, which you do, but I would recommend you play the game. Don't, if you can only get it on PC, obviously, don't get it right now. Although I can recommend the game for full price over other games for full price, i.e. like Last of Us and probably Cyberpunk as well. Um, I would probably still say wait for at least a little sale until it's maybe like £35 or something at least. Uh, even though I paid 20 I would have paid 35 for it. So. Did it make me cry? No, why? <laughs> Like, I mean, if you know about the ending to the game, like, the problem is you have, you, you have an actor who has one gruff, um, voice who's just, yeah, so anyway, I'm just bored, I hate everything, sort of thing. You know, so the end scene just kind of doesn't work. It's the fat guy. Who's feeding his giant alligator. That's not how dead meat works. But sure. Oh, that cigar's not moving. What you say is true, Daniel. He's the tree guy. He's he's the ten foot guy. He's the ten foot guy. Do you know why I know this? If I can actually show this off by looking at it. One hundred. Look at the tree. He's he's got one eye, but he hasn't got another eye. <gasps> It's him. He's the villain. Three hundred at least. I'm gonna find the real killer. In before he actually is the villain. Shit out of him. When you put your dick in it, put your dick in what? Like times have changed. His missing eye. Fucking hopefully, I'm gonna school fucking guy. A red tree herring, if you will. Yeah, he's probably the good guy, isn't he? Yes, sir. Just misconstrued because he owns an entire town, so he's the actual villain. And make the Apparently your fetish, what, skull fucking strong. people? First, I need to find whoever really killed Lise and bash their fucking brains in. I saw this coming. Uh, how? Ever since the day Lenny left home, the town of Lucare has been cursed. We can't Lenny. Stop what's happening. <gasps> Is this going to connect him to the second game with the guy who's got the lashings on his back? I mean, no, because I don't think his name's Lenny. It's beyond the minds of anyone who comes from as long as, as long as I don't drink coffee and FK turns up. You understand me now, boy. Yes, sir. Believe me, I do. Because if it does, I'm gonna know the entirety of this story. To me, Paul. Hmm. Are you serious about this? Yes, sir. Right hand of God. Look right in my eyes. I ain't lying. I'm serious. I just need you to lend me some troops, sir. We need retribution right now. That's the job I've been given, and I intend to do it. What? Also, why does this guy have like the worst mullet? And also, why is this guy's face trying to leave his body? I'm serious about this? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm a Clarkson, and all Clarkson have a job to do. Isn't that what we always say? Mm. You're not a Clarkson. Then I'll need an arm. Yeah. What? Well now, you want to use my troops, I'm going to need to know whether or not you're really serious about this. Just one arm. Slide it on through that wire there, and it'll take care of it for you. Hey, alligator. Paul, I mean, you're joking, right? Daniel. Have I ever told you a single joke? Well, that explains why Daniel's never funny. No, but... If you want to nice become room. a real Clarkson, <laughs> then you done got yourself a job to do. Where did he come from? <laughs> Wait, Paul, I, I get it now. You, you, you want me to stick it in and pull it out at the last minute, nope. right? You, you, you want to see if I got guts or not, but... There's gonna be another way! 
That's never fitting through that gate. Can't be serious, sir. Hey! Hey, knock it off, you assholes! Let me go! He's just joking with me! Let me go, goddammit! Oh, please, sir, don't do this! Just tell me this is a joke, please! Yeah, he's not even moving, by the way. There's no animation, nothing, just... I am a Clarkson. Absent sound effects too, yep. And no matter how our fortune falls, all Clarksons have a job to do. Is that why you lost an eye? That be the law of this land. Oh, there's a thing in that. Oh wow, she really- hello. But she really gives a shit about playing the drums, just... He also gives a shit about playing the piano. I mean, I didn't know Blind Blazer was here playing the saxophone. More like, the sexy phone. I know he's not here, but... You know, clip that and send that to him. She's got a tattoo of an arm coming from her cunt, grabbing cake. What? Is she saying it's as sweet as a cupcake? Because... I'll take two, please. Oh, wow, was that... Oh, okay. I was wondering if something was gonna happen. That's episode one, and I got I got me an A, and it took me five and a half hours. Every episode is going to show that band, I bet. Yeah, and, and each time it's going to show a little bit extra. But no, that's probably going to lead me into the next episode. Oh look, it's old Francis. Oh, and also, you can even hear me. Right. Just going to push down on the stick. I'm not, I'm not sad. sad. Or, or, or maybe, maybe, maybe a bit of a right, maybe a bit of a left. But I'm mostly going to move downwards. See, this is what happens when you don't know how to make video games. We'll get to discuss movies, food again. Everyone around here has some kind of beast. They don't understand things the way. Is there even a camera angle? There isn't even a camera angle. It's a shitty world. Filled with shitty people. Oh, that reminds me. There are movie theaters and restaurants over there, right? As soon as I get there, let's go grab some peanut butter hamburgers. Peanut butter hamburgers. I'm so excited. America, are you high? Like, are you high, America? Who thinks, mmm, hamburger? Peanut butter? I was like dissing his own family, saying they should talk about movies with. Yep. Please. Oh, it's the fairy. Don't rush me. You just need to wait a bit longer. I still have one job left to do. I need to finish it. I have to. Can I look up your skirt? Yes. Oh damn it. Face you. Just, just give me. I just want her to fly down and just grab my shaft like this and just look up at me. Just. Gonna steal that joke. Oh, 2019. Oh, this is gonna be on for like an hour, isn't it? Yeah, he's the killer. He's the villain we're looking so, for. Lisa also, ignore the corpse the that we're talking to. Oh, and he's also smoking marijuana. But then immediately afterwards, she went insane. So you had no choice but to detain her. What a terribly convenient story. You were the first person to what find the, the suspect hiding different. at a farm on the edge of town. Oh no, this is his actual house. And you even got her to Unless you've seen some pre-release footage, right but yeah, this is his actual house. 
Did anyone else get a chance to hear Galena's confession? In the Righteous Gone PS3, he lived in a family home and disappeared at the end. Mm -hmm. Only but no, he's in Massachusetts now. He How is. did you even find that shack in the first place? <sighs> Metaphysical offender profiling. Meta what? Should I know this word? Metaphysical offender profiling. The term appears six times in the Lucare report and 14 times in the 2010 Greenvale report. Oh yeah, so it's only been nine years since Deadly Premonition 1 and what's happening now. As long as you're so he's gone from like a good 20 year old to a pretty dead 39 year old or whatever. You utilized a highly abnormal method. Not only nine years have passed since the suspect. since after the events of the first game, to the then relatively dead again. corpse we're talking and to. Again. And every time you used it, one term kept appearing in your files: metaphysical offender profiling. Mr. Morgan, would you mind explaining to us what this term means? We could try. But no matter what words we used. Yeah, it's only been nine years from that to the first game. You'd never be able to understand. <gasps> Lightning. You see, it doesn't pertain to this side. Come, my fairy. Stop hiding back there and give them the explanation they so desire. <laughs> what? You're too shy? <laughs> Mr. Morgan? You just telling me that this guy's been clinically insane and we somehow accidentally solved a murder whilst murdering an entire town of people in the first game. Come on out. Sounds about right. Be actually. You can do it. It's Is that all you have to say? Don't underestimate me, Morgan. I know you and the Clarkson share a deeper connection, much deeper than how it appears on the surface. I need to shake him with something else that's directly connected to the Clarksons. I'm gonna jog his memory by force. Mr. Morgan, I noticed that several parts of this report have been redacted. For example, here. One individual's name has been erased from the key figure list. Would you mind telling me why? Someone in charge must have thought it was unimportant, or yep, maybe Frank Carson. Why would they think that? How should we know? We've never understood what those people do. Well, I took the liberty of trying to restore what was taken out. Normal ink was used to blot it out, so I was able to recover part of it. Here's what it says: Sa All the other redacted oh, parts seem to yeah, be connected. Sapling salesman to this Frank person. Carson. But I can't think of a single reason why this individual would need to... Or the guy that fucked in my court. coffee. Why is he so untouchable? Oh, he's very dead, so... Him. He's nothing. We were barking up the wrong tree. Meaning? Can't include someone who doesn't exist in an official report, now can we? Doesn't exist? You mean he had nothing to do with the case? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Those letters look very old. The postmark suggests they were sent out from Louisiana. It's not Louisiana, you stupid whore. And I suspect that dragonfly mark belongs to the Clarkson family. N no. <clears throat> Maybe. So what if it does? A stalker has been harassing Patricia Clarkson for several years now. Did you know about this? Constant silent phone calls, unmarked letters. She also spotted a suspicious figure lurking near her mansion several times. 
And just last week, her employees spotted a strange figure lurking in the vicinity. The day someone else coincidentally used your alias and traveled to Louisiana. That's very intriguing. A line. Well, I mean, I know that symbolism. little girl Patricia actually has something to do with this because she's wearing a necklace with that symbol on it. Or the medallion with the symbol on it. So there's going to be something inside that damn medallion. There is. Which either proves she's the true owner and her mother is the true owner of the Clarkson heritage. Or. You're aware of this, correct? It will be some mystical bullshit that I can't think of. Be one of the two. Because I didn't find any mention of this in your report. No direct connection to the case. That's what we must have thought. The visionary lies to yeah, himself. Patricia's a bastard child or something related to that others. family. Yep, she is a bastard child. Because her mother and father weren't married when she was born. So. Which are you? Her mother is a Clarkson having been poisoned or whatever, or is the actual mastermind behind this whole ordeal, and so needs her daughter potentially as the final piece of the puzzle. That's enough for now. I'm not surprised. I mean, that's something along those lines, what might happen. has nothing to do with the case. Besides, there's no evidence that proves those letters are from her. Isn't that right, my fairy? And also the fairy is not going to be explained until like right at the end of the game when he gets like bitch slapped by someone and then the fairy goes, Oh, by the way, I've been here the whole time and it's... Mr. Morgan. Yeah. According to you, at the beginning of this case, the victim's body was being stored in the warehouse on purpose. Is that the truth? They really put her body there alongside food and other perishables? It's in the report. No. The report only says it was stored using the most effective and shockingly inhuman method possible. If you can think of a better phrase, we're all ears. The report isn't wrong, you know. In fact, that might actually be the most accurate way of describing it. <laughs> True, Zach. It's precise, and it's also kind of... But no, seriously, this guy's behind it all, you know? I'm only saying that because he's mostly agreeing with whatever the hell you're saying and in some ways is kind of doing wow, shit something. against you. We never would have taken Or he's just a wood. complete muppet, dickhead, convenient man who's just here. <laughs> that looks like the unassuming idiot. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's mostly been agreeing with anything you say or things to make him sound smart and he's also gone out of his way in a way to touch certain things. <laughs> and he's also been spying on you for like four and a half years, maybe even longer. You and that would probably coincide with potentially the beginning of Patricia being stalked. And when you was back, or you, was back in um, Louisiana in 2015. And Lisa since then he's been in that spying on you. Warehouse. So... After 14 long years. He could be the one behind it all. If you'd only done a proper investigation, we probably would have found her much sooner. <sighs> or, like I say, he's just conveniently just that we much of a simpleton. We never got to meet her. We're sorry from the bottoms of our hearts. I only hope it didn't happen that way by design. Will you comfort me? <sighs> Thank you, my fairy. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't go that easily. Maybe I should try asking my questions in a different way. I could use Agent Jones here. This is a nice building. Oh yeah, and also you have to mash through Whew. talking scenes. It must be rather expensive to rent a place like this in Boston. How many other rooms are there in this apartment? That room over there, your bedroom? Huh. Why so curious, Belle? It almost sounds as if you're seeing this place for the first time. Aside from the hardware shop on the first floor, 
Every apartment in this building has the exact same layout. We're well aware that you studied the layout of this apartment before you came to see us. There's no need to act so... That's why... Oh yeah, and also he's afraid of red. Just be honest. Say it. I want to see your bedroom. And this is the only action this guy would have ever seen well, in his then. entire life. Doesn't mean we'll let you see it, though. It's bugging you, isn't it, Aaliyah? Huh? What? I get it, I get it. It's bugging me, too. It's even got my heart racing a little. I mean, look at this. Nothing but DVDs. Emerald Dragon, Emerald Dragon 2, Aqua Time 2. Something. Other stuff. Low Sky. The Evil Mountain. I'd assume that's supposed to be the Hills Have Eyes. An Emerald Dragon could be the dra Girl with Dragon Tattoo. Police Dogs. I think something hillbilly. Ninja police, nice. Not a single Blu-ray in sight, just pure, unadulterated DVDs. <gasps> in 2019, DVDs, Blu-rays? <gasps> Bastard. He he's a murderer. He's got VHS tapes too. Oh, space balls! My kind of man. I don't even have a VHS player in my house anymore. Yeah, I know. What's a VHS? Yeah, he's got space balls on VHS. Nice. Whoa. May the Schwartz be with you. Check it out. This one's got a lot of pizza in it, remember? You're not wrong, Simon. There's a very large quantity of pizza in that film. 1987, directed by Mel Brooks. The version on that tape is the one we recorded back when you could catch it on cable TV. What's cable TV? Oh, seriously? Damn, Morgan, that's incredible! You're really living the dream, man. I hope you both haven't forgotten that this conversation is also being recorded. Agent Jones! Are you paying attention? Or do you intend to waste no. Mr. Morgan's precious time? Are you? Uh, no. Sorry. I'm just a little tired. I'm listening. I'm listening. Take your hand out of your pocket. Didn't they teach you any manners at Quantico? Oh, uh... I would know. Yep. Guess they slipped my mind. My bad. <laughs> He's got something I'm in his pocket. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not used to this sort of thing. Data analysis is my specialty, you know. I, uh, I'm sure I'd be able to calm down a bit if I had some pizza, though. Dante, calm down. Leave pizza <laughs> alone. <laughs> uh, the FBI needs to do something about their lack of personnel. I'll have to ask the questions myself, but how should I start? Maybe I should look back over the files and... Calmly reassess the situation. After you arrested Galena Clarkson, you had a run-in with the Clarksons. At least that's what it says in the report. What exactly happened there? Just a simple run-in, that's all. Also, the Lacar the the the, the, the Lacari case file would not say presiding agent. Francis Z. Morgan. Would it not say Francis Y. Morgan? Because he was known as Francis York Morgan up until 2010. After that point, he would have went back to Francis Zach Morgan. So that case file should say York on it. Nothing but a single phenomenon. Chasing hollow instances like that. Considering the Lacare case takes truth. place, what, six years prior? Truth doesn't work. But when he changed the jacket, it seems like the characters have been calling him Zack from the start. 
Oh yeah, no, true. So it's most likely just Zack anyway. And he, the whole white guy, York thing, was most likely just something he believed. But, still. <laughs> oh, Bell. We think we finally understand what you're trying to say. But, don't be so... So this is the only kind of problem when you have that kind of a concept of a character when you only hear it from one side. Because from that understanding, like I say, it would make sense that another cup of coffee. he would still be Francis Zack Morgan, his badge would say Francis Zack Morgan, and only he would be calling himself York, and when he talks to Zack, he's talking to himself. So when people read the thing and says, call me York, but it says Zack on it, I understand that, but... We've still got a like I said, because you don't get it from other people's perspective, you can sometimes just forget that that's a thing. <laughs> Yes, it's coarsely ground, so there should only be four teaspoons. Not coarse coffee. No more, no less. Next, the coffee travels from the funnel to the siphon. Simon, normally you only do surveillance in order to gather data, correct? Hiding microphones and cameras, sifting through garbage, wiretapping, shadowing, tracing credit card histories. You'll do whatever it takes to gather data in order to prevent crimes. That's how the FBI works. Uh, well, yeah, you're right. No reason in hiding it now, I guess. <laughs> Why do you ask? Our Southern Belle has adopted a very peculiar M.O. It's almost like she has a special power. Just like us. So kill off Francis Zack Morgan and continue her with any more deadly premonition games. I get it. <laughs> You've been watching us this entire time, haven't you, Belle? From that window. I don't need to answer that, that question. You came here on New Year's Eve then spent 49 hours watching us until you returned to your hotel room last night. You observed us the entire time without sleep or rest, and you only ate once some pizza delivered by Simon. Aside from that, you never drank any water or relieved yourself. You simply sat there and continued I'll to talk watch about us. a stalker. You have visions, too, don't you? You came here solely to hear us talk, didn't you? But then, why bother watching us for over two days beforehand? You didn't come to talk with us. You came because you wanted to see this apartment with your own eyes. And because you're already convinced of something. Isn't that right? He who fights with monsters should see to it well. that he himself does not become a monster. And if you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss, abyss also oh, really? gazes into you. But I... Oh. Well, there's an easter egg, oh. I suppose. Yep. Thank you, my fairy. So whilst Francis York Morgan is sitting here doing whatever bullshit he's doing, the guy from D4 is in the apartment across from him, probably doing whatever the hell he's doing. If you hadn't been paying attention, this coffee would have all gone to waste. Or he'll make an appearance here and go, I can save you, and then blip through time. It really has a way of interfering with our lives. d is a detective who searches the past. Yeah. Yeah, didn't remember. Did that just say Fridujo? Nice. This is a Fridujo! His fridge. Mm. Oh. What the Christ? This is friggin' delicious. I thought I was gonna shit myself for a second there. Okay. Come on, Aaliyah, take a sip. Trust me. I'm not exaggerating here. Mmm, coffee. 
shit. I... I don't believe it. You didn't drink anything? It's better than any coffee I've ever tasted. Of course it is. Coffee is a sacred drink. Coffee saved us. If not for its oracle, we would be on the other side right now. So I never forget to pay my respects to coffee. Especially at critical moments like this. What well, you smoking weed? Big black cumulonimbus clouds are in the sky. What? Excuse me? Pardon? And that sound. Thunder snow is coming. Excuse me, are we... No. Come on, don't glare at me like that, Aaliyah. I told you, I'm out of my element here, remember? This isn't the time or the place. Well, yeah, I know. I'm just really nervous. I mean, Morgan's a legend. And now he's right in front of us and things are all tense. I'm sure it'd give any normal agent a stomach ache. <sighs> Incidentally, Simon, why did you decide to stop working out in the field? I mean, you're like in the store, but it's definitely more Kojima esque now and being a little me. overindulgent. Yeah, like I say. This sequence was the first thing you do at the beginning of the game, and it was an hour long. Mind? We have lots. So this will probably do the same thing. I could even make you another cup of coffee, if you like. Because this is where all the gameplay is going to be. An hour of this, four hours of that. An hour of this, four I'll hours try to of make that. It brief. See, I used to work out in the field. I even had my own partner. But we had a little rivalry that sort of ruined our relationship. It was over a woman, of course. You know how it goes. We fell in love with the same girl. At the same workplace, too. Then one day, the three of us went to go do a stakeout at a restaurant over in East Boston. I pretended to be a customer while my partner waited in the car, and she waited in the building across the way. Well, it only took a few minutes for my partner and I to lose our heads started engaging in this dumb contest to see who could impress her more. Things were looking bad. I knew I was gonna lose. Then, something happened. Right in front of me, a customer starts choking on something. Her face was pale, froth at the mouth, the whole nine yards. I got up at once, but my partner stopped me. He didn't want us to blow our cover. So what did I do? I ignored him. Helped the guy anyway. I couldn't stand by and watch that. I couldn't help myself. Anyone would do that. Next thing I knew, I was a hero. The guy survived, the restaurant thanked me, and I'd even managed to win the heart of you-know-who. It felt pretty good, you know? One-upping my partner right in front of his very eyes. But that was the beginning of the end. A few days later, she and I went to go get some bubble tea at a cafe in Brookline. Mm. Mm. And a man comes up to me and said, I'm here to thank you on behalf of the person you saved in that restaurant. Bye. Feeling a bit cocky, I said, All in a day's work, my good man. And tried to brush oh, him away. Maneuver to get someone to uh, not chuck is somehow blowing your cover. Yeah, no, not doing anything in that sequence would probably blow your cover. But he held out an envelope to me and said, My client broke three ribs thanks to the unnecessary Heimlich maneuver you administered to him. Yeah, this sounds like America in a nutshell. He wants you to ensure that he'll be able to get the proper treatment. Yep, that's I America. I saved someone. But all I ended up doing is wasting a lot of my precious time wrapped up in an astronomically stupid court case. It also blew our cover, so our target found out about us. In the end, I was taken out of the field and banished to a meaningless job that anyone with half a brain could do. Yeah, that sounds about right for America. You saved my life. You broke a couple ribs. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Japan, believe it or not, no, or maybe you're confusing sorry, with China. I, I mean, probably, yeah, but... Anyway, uh, well... It's like, you know, you know if you have a heart attack and they do CPR on you, 
if if you essentially if if doctors aren't doing it hard enough and they aren't getting to the point where they're almost breaking your rib cage, they aren't doing it right. Of course, I also lost the because you can't just because that's never going to do anything. You have to go for it, and sometimes or a lot of the times they do break a rib. You know, doing it, but I think in the long run, you've had a heart attack. They've broken your rib, but you're alive and living a healthy life. Do you then sue the hospital? Because anyone who does should immediately ta be taken round back and shot. Oh, come on. I tell you all that and you're not even going to say anything? I will listen. That was... I'm trying to run over someone, it would actually be long. cheaper to just so. drive off and pay the fine instead of helping and be hitched with hospital bills. Pay the fine or go to prison. Hey, um, I'll take you. the speeding ticket, I please. I told you it'd be long. Oh. I mean, dead guy, but, you know. It's the most I'm just trying to run you over again to finish the job. <laughs> Bump, and you're just, ah, help me. Damn, I didn't do it. And then you just rev the engine as the tire spins up and just... Close the lease, Clarkson. That'll do. And you just drive off. Body. Good question. Maybe we just weren't as skilled as. Then again, that's communism for you. Isn't that right, my fairy? You reported the body as being stolen. Was that truly the case? Meaning? Meaning, there's a possibility that the body was my life. Stolen, I'm gonna sue. Reminds me of the police on a guy for sexual assault. Oh yeah. Oh no, never mind. So he was talking about the other thing that we've talked about beforehand, where the guy showed the copper the evidence that it wasn't true. As he gave her CPR. Maybe. Oh no, this woman's having a heart attack. Let me save her life. You're okay now. I've saved you. You touch my boob. I'm suing. What? I. Okay. But who? And for what purpose? In order it's to use the body for something else. You never considered that? Perhaps there's some connection between the frozen body and the fact that Saint Rouge is still being produced. Because weed will always win. Am I smoking Saint Rouge now? Hey, Aaliyah, how about explaining yourself clearly so that... Like, it's a wonderful I world we live in, you know? Like, people can go out of their way to try and help you and save your life, but... As soon as anyone does anything, it's immediately. From wow, I can actually sue this and get like ten thousand dollars for doing nothing. I'm suing. That's Why? What you're trying to say, isn't it, Bell? So that they could go on producing the inimitable drug without Professor R. W what? Drug addiction destroys people physically and mentally. It makes them capable of doing anything just so they can get their hands on a fix. Abusing a corpse? That's nothing to an addict. And with your dependency, I suspect you might know just what that's like. Hey, it's only weed. Maybe we do. Calm down. If you threaten to take this away from us, I might have to kill you both right here. And steal all your hundred dollar bills. Oh, spine-tingling, scary stuff, isn't it, my fairy? Just ignore the old man. <laughs> you, you sure got a twisted sense of humor there, Morgan. Do you hear that thunder? It's probably gonna snow soon. How'd you get snow from thunder? From Massachusetts. That's the norm for this time of year. Well, I'm not used to the cold. If possible, I'd like to finish this up before we get stuck in a snowstorm. What and turn this into Twin Peaks? Agent Jones, after we're done here, I... <laughs> Agent Jones, is something the matter? Snap out of it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I know, I know. Do you? Then stop daydreaming. Okay, okay. Or if I'm drunk, you just... You just what? I just... Uh, my stomach's been letting some thunder loose, too. I don't want to know, man. Thunder? The, uh... That 
coffee was don't just trust so good. Don't it, immediate uh, relief. Yep. It what? We don't have all day here. He wants to poop, you idiot. How do you work for the FBI? He wants to poo. The coffee was just so good, it, uh... <laughs> oh my god, you say you want to take a massive shit. Massive tsunami from within me. Excuse me? Are you an idiot? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Now is really not the time for this. Now is really the time for this. I don't want to clean up shit. Right door at the end of the hallway. Thanks, pal. And of course, the detective understands what he... You can make it. We can do this. It's not very far. Please tell me we're here shit. We promise you, we did not put laxatives in the coffee. Yeah, let's get some detective is the coffee smallest. Coffee is a yeah. sacred drink, remember? <sighs> Motherfucker. Who <gasps> <laughs> steals chocolate sundaes from kids? He does. That heartless no bastard. That the report omitted information linking Morgan to the Clarksons. I need to get him to confess. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. There's a secret weapon in Agent Jones's briefcase. He's got marijuana. Have you ever seen this before? And please, don't say no. Three good New York users? Well, sadly not, but... Saint Rouge. The drug we once chased. What about it? Saint Rouge is still circulating. It's changed shape and its composition is slightly different now. But it's still very much alive. But only in a very limited part of Louisiana. You aren't surprised? Did you somehow know this would happen? Copies of another drug being circulated isn't exactly a rare case. But Saint Rouge is special. The inimitable Enigma Powder. The origin. It has many names, and no one was ever able to copy it. We've also been trying to figure out what it's made from ever since it appeared. But it's impossible to analyze. After all, it appears to be made from common ingredients that can be found anywhere. But if you try to use those ingredients, all you'll end up with is a mundane hallucinogen like DMT. Because you need to go to the supernatural world. No. Saint Rouge requires a special recipe. That's Frank Carson, he knows. The original recipe, which someone's been guarding this entire time. It has his blood or bush, whatever bullshit it has in it, Someone I don't remember. Who survived the incident in Le Carré. Not me, why? Mr. Morgan, I heard that you were always a smoker. Did you ever wonder if that was the reason you contracted your illness? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. I'm just personally curious about it. Sometimes, people die in car accidents, regardless of how well they take care of their health. Other times, they slip on their bathroom floors and crack open their heads. <laughs> Isn't that right, my fairy? I'm not concerned with statistics. I'm just curious about you, right here, right now. We switched over from nicotine to this. It's less addictive. That's one step in the right less direction. Less addictive, isn't it? okay. Perhaps. If we're talking about withdrawal symptoms or physical dependencies. But it still seems like you're smoking too much at once. Honestly, it looks to me like you have a mental dependency. <laughs> Maybe. But so what if we did? Surely you know about gateway drugs, yes? No. I only when do heroin. When a person heroin. starts to use one drug, it becomes much easier for them to branch out and try other drugs as well. The first drug. Well, I can't do weed, gateway. so I have to do cocaine or heroin. So you know. Oh, are you trying to say that's going? So what got you into hardcore drugs? Oh, lung surgery. No. 
bored one day. I'm simply saying there's a possibility. Immediately after they found Lisa's body, I went to go see Patricia. In order to this interrogate to her, of vaping. course. Francis Zach Morgan. So you told us. Yeah, no, I mean, those those vaping pens won't explode on you almost immediately. But I was unable to meet with her. They won't. Nor are they she potentially more harmful than smoking cigarettes anyway. But we do it because we're hip and cool. That's so like her. No, she didn't get the chance to. You see, she's gone missing. What? To put it more accurately, no one's seen her since the afternoon of the 28th. According to her employee, she shut herself up in her room for several months before she disappeared. But since that sort of thing happened often, they didn't think anything of it. On the morning of New Year's Eve, they noticed her window was open, and when they went up to check on her, she was gone. But no one knows how long her window had been open for. This is just my hypothesis, but on December 28th, a strange man visited Le Carre and was spotted near her mansion. That man must have found some way to lure Patricia into his car, the 89 Cadillac that he bought used. Then, the two of them drove north to Trenton where they boarded a train to Boston. They would have arrived here around midnight on the 29th, or perhaps early morning on the 30th. I believe this man is the same Billy Bishop whose name was previously recorded by the airline. So, what do you think of my guess? I'd love to hear your opinion as a former FBI special agent. Is he just going to turn now around and we say, get it. No. Current persons of interest were the suspects, but what about our alibi? What alibi? I've had enough of your bullshit. You expect me to believe you haven't taken a single step out of this room? That Agent Jones is your witness? Surveillance cameras can easily be tampered with. Especially by someone like you, who knows all about how the FBI works. Punch him. You're possessed by death. Go and take a look at your own face in the mirror. You look like the Grim Reaper. After you visited both Le Carre and Greenvale, you left a mountain of corpses in your wake. You can make all the excuses you want. It wasn't my fault. I was high, right okay? Here, right now, I want to know everything. You tell me the truth. Yes! You're good, Bill. Damn good. You're brimming with potential. Don't you think she's the perfect partner for our last dance? What do you say, my fairy? Don't you agree? She's good. So good. <sighs> what do you want to know? We've got nothing to hide. Go on. Question us. This is how it's got to be. Doesn't this remind you of something? You know what I mean, my fairy? <laughs> He's lost it. I bet he's just acting. No, oh, yeah. Still gonna die though, but. He's a blessing in disguise. Oh, dead. Rip. Son of a. How did this happen in my town? God damn it! The head and limbs were severed and lined up, according to the lines that were drawn with her blood. Nice. Just like migratory birds flying systematically across the sky. Hey, Zach, what do you think this means? If I could fucking They're see it, I'd tell you. Roots. Oh, severed thanks, roots. Patricia. This is the way the Clarksons kill someone when they want to cut him off from the family. And how do you know about this? Everyone in town knows about it. They're just too scared to talk. What does the V stand for, then? Beats me. What, you think I know everything now? No, Morgan. Vila Tatio. It means quarrel in Latin. 
That's what the V stands for. Conveniently, you know Latin, thanks. Latin. Intriguing, isn't it, Zack? There are no defense wounds on the corpse. In other words, Galena showed no signs of resistance when she was amputated. But, strangely enough, there are small traces of subcutaneous bleeding around the wounded areas. That's a vital reaction, which means she couldn't have been dead. You mean... Yes, that's right, Patty. Galena was amputated while she was still alive. Nice. And she never resisted. Because she'd Is be high on the drug. Possible? It certainly isn't impossible. For example, if she was put to sleep with a drug, or if she desired oh, the amputation the herself... Unity? Really? Why would she ever right. desire that? Mr. York, I'm sorry, but there ain't no way that could have happened. How can you be sure of that, Melvin? Our world contains phenomena that could never be explained with logic. Oh, wait. This is especially true for phenomena in which humans are involved. Do you really think all the facets of love and hate can be explained with logic? Well, uh, no, I, I don't reckon I do. Yeah, might be too early to rule out those possibilities, just like you say. Zack, now we truly know just how deeply the Clarksons are involved with this. Patty, how long does it take to reach the Clarkson estate? Um, just a short drive. You just gotta head west along drive. the... Drive. I don't drive. You can't miss it. Got it. Thank you, Patty. By the way, Melvin, no matter how accelerated Patty may be, don't you think she's still a bit too young to see a something? hand-moving like animation. For the record... I have no intent to instruct others on... Like I say, this game really thing. could have used but many months of animation Holy tweaking. Holy moly, you're right! Patricia, CLG! Come on, sweetie. The kids shouldn't have to see stuff like this. I mean, you think... Daddy, it's too late now. I'm already too wet looking at the body. I'm sorry, Papa. But I feel as though I love dead bodies now. You did this to me. I mean, it is the South. That's entirely possible. Oh, I can't see the dead body. Looking at his signature on his FBI badge, you can actually read it as either York or Zach. Ooh. You sure you okay, CLG? I'm fine. Besides, I'm used to seeing stuff like that on CSI. You're the one who looks pale, Daddy. Well, it did shake me up a little. But I'll be back to normal in no time. Uh, sorry about that, Mr. York. Oh, you're guessing that's not his biological daughter. Well, no, like I say, she... First of all, the medallion she's wearing round her neck has the um, clocks and dragonfly symbol on it um and like i say also when you meet her um she said that she was before um him and her mom um got married and whatever what say we rest in the interrogation room till we all calm down see no i know well well, well, no, if you think about it this way, if you have a white mother, because she's a girl, you have a higher chance of her pigment of her skin being white, because obviously, feminine to feminine, if she was male and white, that's when you would have the obvious understanding of, well, he's never going to be the father. Sure thing, Daddy. And because her mom is white, it makes sense that she's white. Join back up later. I mean, you then have the chances that she would be a little darker because obviously, you know, that can happen. But if you obviously take completely off one parent over the other, which you should because obviously gender and stuff. But... Yeah, you mission 22. Oh, you can accept free quests. Turn cash and items.
So you've got main quests, side quests, and free quests. God damn it. Oh, defeat one squirrel. Defeat one killer bee. Defeat one alligator. Defeat one UFO? Acquire five items from the post box. Undergo one checkup. Really, it's the opposite. Mixed race children normally turn up darker since that's the dominant gene. Oh, well, well like I say, I... Obviously, just from my understanding, I thought it was... If you swayed one way as a gender, you have a... Higher chance of that. But... Oh no, it's the... Fucking bongo guy. You found the flying serpent. But now, the flying serpent will come to find you. Yeah, that sounds right. And it looks like this flying serpent is a venomous one. Some become feasts, while others are eaten alive. And yeah, like say the white guy that voices Would you York <laughs> repeats this guy in his accent. But let me check with Zach. Sometimes. A fine answer. <laughs> Find the one who fired the pistol at heaven. Within the white hall of beds, brandish the ticket. To the goddess. White Hall of Beds Hospital. And once again, you will see the other world. Do you comprehend the old York's VA has still got it? Zach, it looks like he's hell bent on leading us Probably back not. into that other world. I mean, I originally didn't think it was Follow the voice actor the when I originally heard his old oh, version would. talking. But there obviously he's older. Types so. of things in our world. Things that should be resisted and things that should be accepted. And but obviously when you get to this point, it's... ...something to accept. Can I save? Please. Could you please? Do you think we're crazy for believing everything that skeletal just- Also, this is the best theme in the entire game. It's, it seems like I'm going to be playing Spyro. No, we're not crazy. Not one bit. This is our destiny, that's all. But I shouldn't need to explain that to you, Zack. Yay. The one who fired the pistol at heaven. Firing pistols at the sky might be a rather common occurrence for the South. Remember? Young Guns, 1988, directed by Christopher Kane. There's that great scene where Emilio Estevez keeps firing his Colt M1877 up at the sky. Well, but that film took place in New Mexico, didn't it? And the Oracle probably yep, isn't movies. referring to a situation like that. It's got to be for some purpose other than an attack or a threat. Raising a pistol up to the sky, then slowly pulling the trigger, kind of sounds like the start to a race. Don't you agree, Zach? So, the farm? Bingo, Zach. Whatever. We're currently running a race here. Are we? And the one who started this murder investigation is indeed the one who fired the pistol at heaven. In other words, the person who first discovered the body. How? Who? Who is making that distinction? Who is thinking the race involves you trying to find the murderer and the culprits, and the person firing the gun is the person who found the body? Who's making that distinction? You're making shit up. Lisa's body was discovered by Chuck Thompson, a crawfish. No one, no one would make that correlation at all. He apparently works I'm surprised he can even solve murders. The south of the bayou. Fuck me. Let's go pay him a visit. Who knows? We might even get to see some crawfish. What? Why isn't the murderer the one who started this race? Zach, this isn't like you. Of course the murderer isn't the one who started the race. The murderer is running it. They're currently in first place. And they're breaking all the rules. 
Any more objections, Zach? Yes, how do you correlate any of this? How does this make any sense to you? Within the White Hall of Beds. This one is a hospital. There are only a few establishments that have a whole hall's worth of beds, especially in a small town. And I think it's the church, because the church is the only place that has one. I got a pretty good idea about what the answer is, Zach. Beds all lined up. Only an amateur would hear that and think it must be referring to a brothel. Hey man, listen. I mean, come on. Let me. You never disappoint me, Zach. Yes, I know, because it's the only place you can go to get healed. And I don't mean hallelujah healed, I mean actual medicine. It's a medical facility. Mm. They invite their patients into rooms full of beds, where they're tended to by doctors. I know how a hospital works. It's definitely a white hall, where people are invited into beds. You always manage to impress me with your intuition. Listen, man, I've been in a hospital enough and we don't have white beds, they're blue. No, I'll always be able Sorry. To. White sheets, but... $15. York is easily impressed. Um, York is an imaginary friend of Zack. Of course he's impressed. You're trying to leave easily. without your trustworthy assistant? No, Morgana, go away. Go bug Joker or Hello something. There, I'd Leave never me alone. such a thing. I was simply engaging in a battle of wits with Hoongan while I waited. Go to bed, yo. No. No. Hoongan? Yes, the skeletal gentleman in the top hat. Not that story again. Is this how you always conduct your investigations? This is the way I work. And yes, Doc, um, Black Blaze also made the same joke earlier. You I did. I bet you can't find a single partner. Not even in the entire FBI. That's not true. I always work together with Zack. Oh, right. Zack. Yes, Zack. You know, the guy you're talking to. Zack. Don't worry. I'll be your partner while you're here in our town. I've already, ha I've already had you for a hundred hours. I don't want you anymore. Go away. Let's go investigate. No. Leave me alone. Please. Oh yeah, and also the game does this. Like, Mission 23 and Mission 27. Well, I may as well do Mission 23, right? Like, if that makes the most sense. Do 23 lead up to 27? Full oh, frame rate. I think that makes the most sense. It does. Wait, what do I have in my- Oh, my inventory is full. I have a crap ton of ammo. A crap ton of first aid kits. Some coffee. Oh, root beer. Um, I believe root beer, just to let you know, root beer in the UK is um, dandelion and burdock, I believe. So if you've ever had dandelion and burdock, that's what root beer is, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's true. Wouldn't a beer taste like watered down piss? No, no, no. Root, dan, wouldn't, yeah, no, like I say, dandelion and burdock is a soft drink. So root beer is just a soft drink. It is, it's a soda or pop, if you will. It's not actual beer. It's like ginger beer. It's not actual beer. It's just called ginger beer. It is. Yeah, because it's like I've seen kids drink root beer, and I'm like, but it's root, it's beer. And then I looked it up and went, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, also, there is a fast travel system in this game. Um, But considering it has to load, like, going from here, like, the first time it introduced fast travel, I went from here to here, and it took, like, a minute of load screens when it would take me, like, 10 seconds to skateboard there. So I would never bother um, fast traveling in this, unless you're going from that end of the map to that end. But also you've got to pay money. There's no point because you've also got to pay rent at the um, hotel. So I want to save as much money as I can for that hotel because I ain't doing fucking side quests. Because I have side quests, I just have no idea what the fuck they are. Like, yeah, something from the concierge. I've tried talking with him, he won't respond. Gather one rice. 
Where's the rice? I do not know. Collect all five beans. Fuck off and create a voodoo charm. I don't have the collectibles to make one yet. Like, where am I finding one rice? No, I'm not doing it. Like, if I got one rice from doing one of these free quests, I would. But no, quality bead, quality bead, quality bead, quality bead, quality bead, quality cloth. No. Apparently way easier to do side quests in this than the original. Well, like I say, I've tried talking to certain people and getting certain things, but I can't find anything. Like I say, I can't talk to the concierge because I probably have to go to him at a certain time of day to talk to him. But considering Act 1 was do stuff between 10 at night and like 6 in the morning and then do something from 6 in the morning till 8 in the morning. So the concierge is not going to be roaming around at that time. Also, what day is it? Tuesday, I think. I think it's a Tuesday. Oh no, it's a Wednesday. But no, the other thing is, the the chef, concierge, and bellboy is all the same guy. Just He just wears different clothes. He does. And if you bell him to, into the clothes you want him to be in, you can only talk to him in that form. So if you're there in the morning, he's probably the chef. If you're there during the day, he's probably either the bellboy or the concierge. And at night... Again, either bellboy or concierge, whichever way they want to flip it around. But do I really want to wait around all fucking day to do some shitty side quest? Wait. Jeez Louise, Yana. Yeah, like it's... Oh, and also on Sunday I can go to the church and praise Jesus if I want. Which I obviously will not be doing. And this is, I assume, the... Oh, that's Daniel's house, that's the mansion, I assume. Yeah, I have this exact map right here. I do. All there. I mean, I need to open it up and it's like this bloody big, but... You know. Yeah, I got that and graph paper. For pre-ordering. And people always complain about pre-ordering, like, You shouldn't be giving your money to developers. Bitch, I got me a notepad. And a map. For nothing. I'm pre-ordering. Like, like this kind of pre-order I get. Pre-ordering like Ghost of Tsushima and getting some in-game clothing or whatever. Eh. But getting a physical graph paper and map for free. Fuck it, I'm getting it. I think I was the only person who fucking pre-ordered that as well. Because when I looked when the woman was getting it, I believe I was the only person on the bloody shelf at the top who she she just lent up, got it, and gave it me. Because one, obviously being stuck inside, people would rather order stuff online, which is understandable. And two, it's Deadly Premonition. Who genuinely cares about Deadly Premonition? Yeah, there's a ludicrously small print for Deadly Premonition 2. Or two. I mean, understandable. It's Deadly Premonition. Again, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the first game, of course I did, and that's why I have this game. And I will probably enjoy this, withholding the um, frame rate and fucking glitching where I can't pull my gun out and whatever. Like, I will excuse them if the overall game is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I suppose this could be one of those games that if I kept for like 20 years would then be worth like £200. It would. But yeah, I mean, I might keep this because, like I said, it's only £40, so trading it in might only be, like, 15 20 at best. And, as we know, Switch games never go down in price. There's no point in me spending £40 to trade it in for 20 to buy it for 40 again. So, I'll just keep it. And again, it is decently priced, obviously. £40 for this game. Whereas, I mean, Ghost of Tsushima is going to be worth, the you know, like, £50 and stuff, but... <clears throat> You know, I mean, £40, it's slightly cheaper, so, you know, I'll take it. Do you the Premiership 1 was £20 at launch? Was it? Oh my god. <laughs> and I paid 30 for the Switch version with pin badges, so, whatever. I think it was 30 maybe even 35 
But yeah, I mean, good game. I've been enjoying it so far. I have. Definitely. I mean, at the minute, obviously, if you've enjoyed the first game, obviously get the second one so far. But I doubt there's going to be any one of those scenarios where it's going to screw me over anymore. Which is obviously cheaper than the Rare 360 version. Actually, I don't think it is. Give me a moment, I'm going to check. I mean, yes, but I don't know why you would ever want the 360 version. Like, the best version is essentially the Switch version, and even then, it's still just as good as the PS3 and PC version, so... Yeah, Deadly Premonition on 360 is a tenner. The PS3 Director's Cut is £22. Um, obviously, Origins is 32 And obviously, with the six pin badges, it's £42. Oh, god damn it. CEX, if they had a copy of this in... They sell it for £28. I've been fucking short-handed, I have. I've, put, I've bought this for 40 and CEX are already selling it, essentially day one, 28 quid. Bastards. I've been short, short-changed, I have. PS3 version is all fucked up and Switch version is based on the PS3. Oh. So if I ever play the game again in the future, I should look at getting the 360 version. Not really, because I've got the Switch version, which is fine anyway. But if it's cheap and I ever see a copy, I mean, why not, eh? If it's the better version, but again, no need to. Oh. Don't matter. Obviously. That'll be it for me for tonight anyway. Oh, obviously more of this tomorrow. Because... I mean, I ain't doing anything. I ain't. Um, I may expect to get this done. I don't know how many acts there are. Um, if I do an act a day, then maybe an act and a half a day. I'd assume I could prob definitely get this done before uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I'd be surprised if I couldn't get it done before Ghost of Tsushima in a week. I'd be surprised. But I might get this done about Wednesday, something like that. Maybe even... Monday, Tuesday. Um, but I guess we'll find out, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, obviously, we'll converse more anyway about anything and everything. Um, to Daniel. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> I know he's not here because of the low frame rate, but um, it's like a good time for this. I mean, yeah, like I say. The the frame rate drops in the open world, I could not give a fuck. It's the open world, it's not action oriented, you know? As long as it doesn't try and screw you over in the boss fight specifically and stuff, I don't care about the frame drops. And in terms of the game glitching whatever, yeah, whatever. The Virgin Last of Us 2 versus the Chad Deadly Premonition 2, I don't know what that means. I, I don't know this whole Chad thing. So, you know, you, you can teach me in a minute, because I have no fucking clue. I'm glad I'm only on the internet long enough not to care about, uh, to really not even understand about that stuff. Like, it's the, it's the same thing with the Karen bullshit. Like, what the, what the fuck? Why would you call someone Karen and it's some derogative term? How? Pretty much a comical caricature? No. But like, like, how have we gotten to the point where you have stupid... 13 year olds telling us adults that, oh, that's a Chad, or, or, that's Karen. Could you just say that that person is an asshole? Or, Karen's pretty much a caricature of a horrible, horrible, egotistical woman. But, but that's my entire point. You have, you have described the person you have wanted to describe by saying it's a horrible, egotistical woman. Why the fuck do we need, do we need to call someone Karen? Because we already know, it's because kids don't know the term egotistical, or even horrible. I know it's one word versus three, but would you rather have me, in a conversation, say, 
and describe to you someone who is horrible, egotistical, and their gender, or would you rather say, oh, that person's Karen, ugh. Like, genuinely, what would you prefer in normal conversation? You prefer the word cunt, has a nice ring to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know that horrible, egotistical woman? Oh, you mean cunt? Yeah, I know her. What about her? I mean, of course, it works for us, but you get my point. Like, in terms of that particular context, I would take e egotistical. And even then, you could just say, oh, that woman's egotistical. You know, because you would still have to say, oh, that woman's Karen. Or she's a Karen. But so by still saying she's egotistical, you're still using one word to describe that someone's got a dick up their own ass. You know? But no. Kids these days can't be asked to look in a fucking dictionary for half a second and go, oh, egotistical. Hmm. No, Karen. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go before I fucking rant my ass off about English. Again, my English teacher, shout outs to you. You'd be proud of me. I know you would. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. If you're around, Dark Shadow, which I assume you won't be, this will be a one-off for you. And I'll see you in like six months. But um, to everyone else, I'll see you tomorrow. So have a good one. Ta-ta.